But our first match of the day is Hubert up against Kanzenkai. Yeah, super excited to see this turn out. Kazunkai, if I'm not mistaken, did just win DNF Duel at Evo. So mm -hmm. it, it, it is surprising seeing Kazunkai come into this tournament on loser side. Uh, yeah, for, yeah. For top 12. Yeah. So, and also Hubert, you know, no stranger to the limelight in DNF Duel, really revolutionizing Berserker play, being very yes. consistent. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, again, also loser side here for top 12. So it's so brutal seeing a match that could easily be winner's semis, winner's finals, already happening here in top 12 just for the losers round one. Yeah, I mean, like, it just goes to show that, all right, these are two, con like, top contenders for DNF Duel. The fact that they're on loser side means that there's definitely some level ups throughout the, uh, you know, the bracket as well. Yeah, so let's see. And, you know, again, it, it's just really, uh, it's gonna be fun to see, because these are, these are two explosive characters. Ooh. Okay, so Kazukai is on the second cube there, so we're gonna get a little bit earlier awakening. Mm -hmm. uh, Hubert's sick with the classic cube, as we are very familiar with. All right, let's see what we're coming up with. Oh, already gets the 5B open up. Just slowly, he goes the corner, very measured play already here from Kazu nice. Oh my god, the spacing! Yeah, and use that Indomitable Spirit just to get the push out, trying to challenge here, but still Kazu Able to keep control in the corner until the side stop from Hubert. Big stretch damage on Kazu so we'll see with Hu when Hubert spends it. There we go. Catching out that Gortex, get an OTG situation here. Goes for the high, nice blocking here. Kazunkai conversion to try and bait something out. A little scary. Hey, honestly, that conversion, despite not getting a bait out, you still burn that indomitable spirit from Kazunkai. Or, yeah, excuse me. Nice, Vortex, but right to Awakening, and already. Just going for it now, I love it. We're just, this is just reps right now. We're just warming up the hands. All right, put that dog in him real quick, and Hubert getting the first round. Already, I highly appreciate the mind games around how you're utilizing your mana especially when it comes to Indomitable Spirit, because now we're baiting out those defensive options. The Indomitable Spirit getting that push block, right, to get that space out of the corner, a new tool that we're getting in this season. And still, Hubert already calling things out. Nice pickup, OTG. Oh, nice patience. I love the guard. Potentially, it could have been a reverse situation. I love using the IS here just to push out a little bit, but still kind of scary here in the corner, trying to swing out with the 5M. Oh, perfect spacing from Uber, and what a run up! Got to confirm! Just weaving in and out of the ranges here. Uber already playing out of their mind right now. Conversion, doesn't even need the awakening, but we're doing it anyway, because it's easy. You may as well. What a strong start. I'm not surprised that Berserker is going to be explosive uh, from Hubert. And that's the terrifying thing of this absolutely vicious character. Still not missing a beat in this uh, iteration of the game. Yeah, it's always been a very scary character, you know, high risk, high reward, because mm -hmm. you're essentially bleeding Ooh. yourself the whole time. Oh, the roll, a little bit missed time there, Kazukai able to get that pick up. Yep, yep, getting the juggles here with Vanguard. A lot of damage, reset situation, 2 one 4 and I love using the IS to make sure to push him out. So smart. Yes. Getting the grip there, getting a little bit of hell. Just walk the patience here from Hubert. The pressure has been really strong, but just being able to make sure that you're ready to catch any mash out there, just waiting for it. Oh, nice throw. Wow, very sneaky from Hubert here. Go, go right, slash, yeah. awakening, easy peasy. Hubert woke up on the right side of the bed today. <laughs> there you go, Kazantai. Uh, you know, wake up a little bit here. It, you know, that's the thing is that Kanzukai is holding their own ground in the neutral, like absolutely getting solid leads. It's just, that's the explosive nature of Berserker anyways. It's just, hey, I just need a couple touches and you're only helping me out the more damage you do to me. Oh, crazy pick up of the 6S there. Went right over that jump M and there we go. Big drop though and Hubert ready to get that combo in. Misses the Ghost Slash, but still Kanzukai running in. Oh my god, the distance on that. Yeah. All right, charged up. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, there's the throw. This is the start, though. No health for Hubert. Kanzuka just needs to find one touch. Does he get it, though? Oh, we get the OTG oh. here, yep. <laughs> and already Hubert up 2-0 here on Kazuka. Good lord. 
There was no health from Hubert, and you still got killed. You know, this is the game you play. <laughs> you know what you signed up for. You absolutely know what you signed up for. Yeah, this Kazen Kai, definitely. Um, you know, keeping it real chill, uh, not letting this get to him. Uh, definitely a very clutch player, but the thing is, Hubert is converting off of so many just random hits in the neutral. It's adding up. Kazen Kai hasn't been able to really find like a solid hit in a couple rounds. Absolutely. Oh no, the double overhead there. Big opener from Hubert. God, it just Kanzakai, again, like you said, has not been able to, you know, hold their ground. Another sneaky throw here from Hubert. Oh, so rude being like, hey, you know, might as well add this extra damage. It might not kill if we did a real combo, but if I do command grab it to awaken it, GG. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just taking it in here, and again, it's just loser's side, so Kazakai could potentially be out of the tournament. This is wild because I just watched Kazukai just getting smoked in that combo and Kazukai's just big chilling. Like, you just plugged in the controller to watch this happen. It's so tragic. <laughs> Hubert's a bully. Hubert's such a bully. <laughs> you know, sometimes it is like that. Hubert again with a very strong oh starter. 38 hits on it. Yeah. Situation here, doesn't go for double overhead. Ooh, good roll attempt, but unfortunately Hubert had that covered. Run up. Yep. yep, the Pogo nice. no go. Get off me. Oh, S trying to stagger. And nice. And the IS just to stay in there is so horrifying, and this actually might be it. Oh, and the pop off here from oh, Hubert. No. He might have popped up We've too lost hard. everything. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, you know, we had to censor the broadcast. The pop off was way too hard. <laughs> but still an amazing performance there from Hubert. Popped up so hard, the camera exploded. Yeah, yeah, that was, that's a wild <laughs> time. Hubert still got it. I think we got the feedback here. Goodness mm -hmm. gracious. Complete control from Hubert here in that set. I mean, Kanzukai, that controller is going to stay clean at this rate. Golly, that oh, is yeah. just tough. But of course, that needless to say, Kanzukai, a tough competitor. Like you said at the top of this, this very well could have been a winner semis, loser semis match as well. I mean, these two players have been absolutely, um, you know, pound for pound, been one of the strongest competitors in DNF Duel. But golly, it, it just the complete control from Hubert utilizing Berserker in these corner situations is insane. Yeah, I just think the toughest part, again, Kazun Kai just couldn't find a place to be on the screen that Hubert wasn't already looking for. Yeah, it, and you know, it, it's wild because Kazun Kai had the control, especially mm -hmm. with the distance range from uh, um Sorry, from Vanguard, because uh, uh, every time we had the solid opening, usually had the first hit on most of the rounds, with the exception of maybe game three was when Hubert really started to be more aggressive mm -hmm. uh, at round start. Because beyond that, it was just just damage output difference at yeah. that point, right? Because even still, Kanzukai was trying to completely control the, uh, the situation on block screens, but Hubert knew exactly where to roll through, especially the utilization of IS to keep the opponent closer on those strings that were supposed to push Vanguard away to keep yourself safe. Once you shut down some of those routes that are normally safe, it's just, all right, you found your way to punish, and Hubert just capitalized every single time. Yeah, they are just really showing off a master class on how do you how to utilize mm -hmm. these newer mechanics, because being able to stick on top of them, like you just said, is so scary, because at any point in time, it's like, you know, I see you trying to space yourself out. Just kidding. I am right here. <laughs> I could just DP right through your next string. So just amazing stuff there from Hubert. But now we have coming up here, Argon versus Profit. Yes. And this is, uh, this is a classic match uh, here in Florida. We've seen this many, many times across many different games. But today, we are seeing it here in DNF Duel. Profit from South Florida. Argon from Orlando in his JP costume. Um, so I'm really excited to see how this turns out here. Profit, the Berserker player, and Argon. I'm not sure who they play right now, but um, I'm pretty sure it's Vanguard. You think it's Van from Argon has got Vanguard? Yes. Ar I thought Argon was a... Uh a crusader player maybe oh okay so that may that may be true argon is kind of like a big body zoner Usually, type, type yeah, player yeah so th th those are two choices that could be true i remember right. him playing vanguard um for a bit even before the okay. buffs so maybe you know a pocket crusader so i mean that's, that's, yeah, a, that's, that's a nice a thing big, to have yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that, <laughs> that's fair yeah very fair uh but yeah we'll see here in a moment and of course profit
you know, on the other side of things here. Um, God, another loser's match as well, too. So uh, Rampage Cube chosen for Berserker here. So, yeah, Prophet coming back on Berserker with uh, Rampage Cube. And then, like you said, Argon on the Vanguard as well. Yeah, and, and yeah and there you go. So let's see how it turns out here. And the thing is, like you said, there could be a Crusader that you just kind of like sit back on in case like Ben, this matchup doesn't work out. Right, you, right. So. Yeah, I'd be curious to see if we have that back up here. But both at the 50% cube. It'd be great to see how this one turns out. The new feature of cube choice into battle we go. I'm cubed up. <laughs> oh, no. He's cubed up. Help. Here we go. Legend intros rock too. I love seeing it. You actually don't see the intros in this game very often. No. Players are ready to get into it immediately. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I love that. They're kind of popping off a little bit for that intro. The Vanguard is pretty hype. But here we go. Argon versus Prophet. This is loser side here in top 12. So, you know, loser will be out of this tournament. Oh, all right. Oh, what punishments were a bit too far for that approach there from Argon. All right. And already a very uh, clear difference between Prophet and uh, Hubert's Berserker, right? We're going for the Blood Fireball uh, to kind of control that approach here. But big pickup from Argon. Nice. Hold that back in. There we go. And yeah, just spending the drill wants to keep the spacing here oh. in the 4S on the jump. And yeah, that is exactly what he wanted there. Just trying to, like, you have to do something here. Yeah. And I'm just waiting to bait it out. So we're seeing a bit of like, a, kind, of, kind of a different way in this matchup too, where Argon is uh, being a little bit more of the aggressor and making sure that he sets the pace. Mm -hmm. There you go, Prophet. Getting started here, gonna, nope, something frenzy up. Just goes for a save jump, but still gets wow, hit. Wow, tough. Guess it wasn't so safe, huh? Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> Not work out there, but it, nice ooh, I to love the spacing yeah. there. All right, got the help splitter. Try to get the conversion overhead there. Oh, nice take with their off attack. Let's see could go into awakening the cash is out with the right route in. Ooh. Nice. Nice. OG. Good stuff with the big slap. I love this awakening. It's just very straight to the point. Boom. Just, just slaps him harder than he usually does, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what I, if I hit him really, really hard? Yeah, that, that, that's the that, that's the first awakening. So, you know, you, later on you see the more flashier stuff, but, but that was the first awakening yeah. there. But, oh, almost got that conversion there, but luckily big whiff, probably good advantage here. All right, got the blood set up here. Oh, no, mistimed it there. Gonna get scooped up for your trouble, Argon. Getting a fine position on this east side of the screen. Oh, having the block is taking a lot Whoa. of shit. Look at that great health right now. Yeah, nice helm splitter there from Prophet. And again, another blood fireball set up here on Oki. Yeah, oh, down. no. I don't oh, know about yeah. the double conversion, though. It should work out. Oh, here. Send it a little bit further. You get one more. Oh, no. Pushed it too far. The hit yeah. stun. That's unfortunate, <laughs> but still got the pick up, you're crazy. Waking up with 5B when you're on pressure, Prophet's kind of sick with it. Wait a second. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. All right, it's facing it out. Oh my god, the jump M, the blood is still in effect there. And that was almost the perfect punish there from Argon on that approach. Just the lingering hurt box of the Helm Splitter from Prophet caught him. Nice low, yeah. All right, nice air to air pick up here. Argus should be able to wrap this up and does. And yeah, we are playing some intense mid range. Yes. Um, because Hargan has the ability to set the pace, you don't see Prophet kind of going for good punishes or stuff like that. Right. He's kind of backing himself in the corner because he doesn't want to take aggression. So now that the Prophet has Argon in the corner, he's trying to work out, but no, he rolls it and gets grabbed for it. Yeah, so oh no, too close. Yeah, got caught by the Cortex there. Nice conversion for Prophet. There we go. Setting up the Gore Cross again. And the Pogo, big punish. I think they were expecting him to he was gonna rush in. Yeah, rush in, but we did the full back dash there from Prophet. Perfect spacing once again. And look at this, Awakening is applied. 
Needs one more route here. It's crazy to think about in this era, because remember, normally you're at that life point and someone awakens, you're dead, oh, right? Yeah. Like just dead, but wow. How things completely change with the single season patch. Yeah, you love to see it. Yeah. You know, just you know, checking it up a little bit with, with these changes. Oh, and, yeah. and I love seeing um, just how the players kind of develop their play styles around it too. Nice pick up, had to convert, but unfortunately wasn't able to get the full extension. Nice guard cancel from Argon because we were getting real close to that corner. And still Prophet's going to press the issue. There we go again. Gore-Tex converging so much damage. But Argon now in Awakening here. Mm -hmm. All right. What we got? Just taking the knockdown off the command grab here. It goes for the shimmy. Not fast enough. But I, I, I see the vision. Yeah. That was actually really terrifying. Yeah. Nice, look at this, this is a big opportunity for Argon to be able to wrap this up. It does, there we go, got a round on the board. Yeah, Cleaves up, cleaned it up right there, but so unfortunate. There's just certain routing things that aren't working out for Profit. So, and luckily Argon's keeping his head in the game where, you know, one mess up and Argon's already ready punishing you. I mean, and that's the thing, Argon is such a calculated player. If you ever have a conversation with Argon about any of the fighting games that they play, like Argon will give you a full breakdown of how to dismantle someone's playstyle. Mm -hmm. All right, nice bullet. Oh, the tip of the Gore-Tex. And uh, hopefully, no, just gonna keep it simple here. Yeah. I, I was just thinking maybe a side swap too. Yeah, oh yeah, that would have made a ton of sense actually. All right, converting. It was far enough for the poke there, but now both players, next hit could seal this round. Yeah, convert. I like that. The immediate recognition. Wanted the low. Unfortunately, immediate jump up from Argon will take it. Yeah, the head's always horrifying to me because that double flash, for some reason, it makes you want to do something. <laughs> so, you know, hasn't really used that too much in neutral. So, I, I like how Argon's like, you know, potentially uh, checkmate here. Somebody just throw right. it out in case you press something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. This dance of distance here. Neither wanting to give up too much, but needs to try to whiff punish here. That's what we're fishing for for profit. But now Argon has that corner control, so it completely changes the pace already. And we're in that Berserker. Ooh. Yep, that 5B. He's opening it out there. Gonna cash out all of that. Look at yeah. damage here. Spent right into the Awakening as well. A double-edged sword. Profit lost like 40% off that conversion. Yeah. Oh, nice guard cancel from Argon. Wants to hold the lead, doesn't want to get bullied in the corner. Nice empty jump to block the DP. Beautiful safe jump from Argon to take the round. Oh man, we are on set point here, and Argon is playing. We're seeing like like the other side of the matchup. <laughs> yes. You know, so uh, Prophet hasn't been able to really push the issue, and Argon's been able to be like, okay, this is the match we're playing. You have to adapt to me. Both of them playing just outside of each other's ranges, but there you go, getting the first clean hit, Gore Cross. Nothing too much. Oh, the Woo! man, there we go! We're finally unlocking the mix. That's the first time that we've seen that so far in this set from Profit. All right, nice conversion here. Got a little bit of extension with that mana, but we're gonna go for the Berserker call out here. That's a long shoot. I, I felt that in my bones. Like, th th that was like, I reset the combo, I'm gonna walk back for like five seconds. See what you do. A lot of patience did pay off here, but now Argon again nice. has Prophet back against the corner. He has to push his way out again. Oh no. Caught the back roll. By them, tackle, jump, cancel. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, the bad time to frenzy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and, oh the reset. Dude, no! Not like this, the air reset. That's insane. I saw Argon go for that earlier. It whiffed, but it actually worked out there. Three, one, Argon over Profit. That was insane. Yeah. The thing is, I wanted to call it out earlier. Maybe that was a misinput. But now that I see the, the jump A did actually hit, it's just like, are you going to press buttons on the way yeah, down? Exactly. Am I going to punish? Yeah. I, definitely a solid call, right? To oh, cover multiple options. Like, sure, I didn't get that pick up earlier, but now that you've teched out, <laughs> like, that's the mind games that you start playing with because that is one factor in this game. It's like, mm. all right, when's the proper time to tech out? Because I might still get duffed for uh, teching out a little bit too early here.
almost almost feels like a melty interaction, right? Yeah, like, <laughs> tech buttons. Like that was the one time tech buttons did not work out. Like you're like, oh yeah, I'm pressing the button on the way down. Yeah. I'm sick with it. No, you saw that six has come out immediately, yes. and you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> As that jump end was coming down. Yep, yep. And, and you know it'll be fascinating to see too because that was a uh, you know again we just got the exact same matchup again it's just mm -hmm. the Vanguard versus uh, Berserker but a different style from Prophet right yeah. we saw way more blood fireball to set up the you know the blood wall was great on Oki um, but a very different interaction because um, I, I feel like that's going to be interesting to see Argon Ross utilize or Argon excuse me utilize that game plan against uh, Hubert later on in mm -hmm. the bracket uh, to see how that works out because. Hubert's a much more aggressive berserker. Yeah. Like you're not getting turns or just think about like the difference in utilization of uh, IS as well. Hubert was on point with IS throughout the entire set, whereas Prophet did not really utilize that yeah. feature. So uh, we'll see how that matchup breaks down in uh, later on in the bracket. But next up, we do have Pineapples up against Lupro here. Yeah, Pineapple's on the Crusader, if I'm not mistaken, mm. and Lupro, everyone's favorite Dragonite. Oh, my goodness. Seeing Lupro. The one and only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time I see Lupro post more tech, I'm just like, can you stop? Can, <laughs> can you please stop? This character has enough. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Do we see a brawler here? Hold up. Maybe. I'm Maybe. Excited. I'm very excited. A new character coming out pretty recently. I want to say one week, two weeks. Yes, yeah, it's about. It's really not been all that long. <laughs> so pulling it out here in this top twelve is is kind of risky. But again, you have a different character to kind of rely on. You know, you yeah, yeah, feel yeah. it out for that first match, and it's locked in. And so it looks like Pineapple is going on the Crusader and Lupro with the Brawler. Yeah, that'll be really fascinating to see. So this is uh, one of my first times being able to uh, check out a match with Brawler. Um, like you said, brand new character to the game, but uh, you know, if, if you've been keeping up with DNF Duel, like you've had plenty of time to kind of get used to uh, uh, the Spectre. So at this point, you might be able to just pick up Brawler, have the time, and uh, you know, two weeks is a long time to really lab it up here. It's a new era, you know, honestly, because like all that information gets shared so quickly. Yeah, and Brawler is kind of a menace, you know. Uh, f from the from the actual DNF DFO has always been a very space control heavy kind of character. Right, right, right. A, a lot of just things on the screen, and I think they've translated they really well here did. to, to, yeah, to yeah, the yeah. DNF duels. So. You want to talk about you know stuff on the screen to control space? Yeah, Brawler is definitely about to do that. It's on like Donkey Kong. Oh. If I can say. <laughs> just jumping over the barrel. So yeah. let's see how Lupro plays out this matchup. Crusader, a very strong character. So I don't know how it's going to be kind of play out because Crusader can just force the issue with that wall. Yeah. And Brawler needs space to make it happen because they're not very fast. But they do have nice the physical roll. reversal, though. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, pulling up with the trap. There we go with the chain, too. Drops the combo. Nice 2A opener here. Yeah, yeah, may have dropped it, but I mean, hey, look at this immediately picking up right after. Ooh, there you go. Poison State, that's going to do damage over time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that meaty right there. That was yeah, disgusting. Yeah. What an open up. Oh, the barrels. Not like this. Oh, the big poke out. 2A. This could be it with the right rounding there. The OTG. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Zero. Oh my goodness, the damage here literally got him all the way into the corner and be like, no, you know what? I got God's 2A right here. The congregation has spoken. <laughs> Good Lord, but still. I the, the rapture has come. Oh, you no. have forgotten your place in the world that is DNF Duel, who you are going up against. Crusaders unite and rise up. In this lost world of awakening state, hallelujah. Hallelujah, indeed. Nice, the trap actually beats out the jump B right there, misses the net, but still has the pressure. Here in the corner, the jump M afterwards. Huge damage here, that poison ticking. Oh my goodness, the poison. Oh! Okay, okay. That was, that was sick. Nice roll through with the 2A pickup as well, Lupro. I don't care if you got Sunday best on. More oh barrels. No. Yeah, nice block here. The stagger pressure too for the lows. You see that key checking low every time. We're gonna interrupt something. 
Yeah, again, also tough on the side when Crusader is on the defense, only has either the parry or the armor DP. Yep. So when Lucro can get Crusader in the corner like we see here, that pressure is incredibly strong because of the space control. Oh my god, not like this. What? Yeah, just big open up with the floor. I'm trying to swing on it too. Nice pick up here. Look at these kicks. Who do you think you are, Cody? Oh, nice, yep, just scored a uh, guard uh -oh. and On the slide, though, oh, there's the no, reverse the conversion. And we have conversion for the huge damage, too. All right, damage over time, missed the net, but that's okay. We still got pressure going. Stagger again. Oh my gosh, this is actually so scary. There we go, the wall is Woo! up, the armor's up, Every gets in time. right through. Oh, the armor through! <laughs> Should be enough here. There we go. Two wow. Was enough. And yeah. Lupro. Brawler, let's go. Yo, this is a beautiful character. I just, you know, again, props to the animation team of TNF Duel because this is still such a phenomenal game to watch. Oh, there we go. Run up grab works out here for Pineapples. Trying to lock down Lupro. Nice. And this is the start of our top eight oh, here, so no! we are in semis. Yeah, yeah, and that's a big roll through from Pineapples there to control the space there. Caught Lupro overextending. Now we keep chipping away here. More scratch damage applied to Lupro. Oh, deal running up with the barrels oh! is nuts. The explosion, nice. Gets the pick up to spin yeah. the conversion to get a little bit more damage. Poison ticking right now. Yeah, that was a really good air to air, especially being right on top of the barrels. Okay, backing off again. Oh, it just puts up the barrels. I yep. love that. Usually Crusader's like, I'm gonna go full screen, I'm big chillin'. But now no. Lupro's like, let me put out the barrels real quick. I got something rolling through, let me show you. Ooh, nice block on the jump, M. Oh, poison! Dude, that goes so far. The 45 degree angle on the jump, M, the poison mine is insane. And there we go, awakening here. This is my first time seeing this. I was, oh my god. What? Yep. My dude's out here brawling. Just, put, just pulls out the stick. It's a turkey leg. It's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out his turkey leg real quick. Check out the monster leg I be munching on. Oh, nice. Yeah, get out of the, the net there, but gets hit by the trap afterwards. Where's that coming from? Where the rocks come from? I pull them. The form again. All right, oh. nice. While falling, yeah. Keeps you blocking high. Oh, you gotta respect you the barrels. All of that. Look at this. Whoa! Again, 5M. Nice roll through, but we're still able to challenge a little bit too late from Lupro. All right, big opportunity. The Rapture comes through. Oh, no. Yeah, gets right out of there. And does have enough bar where they just go wow. for the reversal conversion. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know? I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yo, I mean, look at this stylish character. Come on, how could you not like brawling? And you know, with Battle Major on the corner, I'm just too set for all these new characters coming out here. Just, just seeing them translated so faithfully from the source material, oh, so sick. I, you know, and that's the beautiful thing about this game is that they consistently done that across the cast. Oh, oh, nice the armor wow. with the cave in, please! All right, nice staggers. Another one here. Yo, there's no shot of interrupting there, right? Because then there's a uh, concern of armor up and tries to shoulder check right through the barrels. Pineapple's still caught in this corner. Good guard cancel. Armored up with Sunday best. Yeah, I, I love how Pineapples is being very wary here. Doesn't want to make sure the armor blows them up, but there we go. Getting the damage here, awakening immediately. Scary stuff. I, I, I love the fact that they push the ancient Look, I'm not giving you space anymore. I don't want to see any more damn barrels. That's God's plan. <laughs> God's plan. My children of the congregation. Once again, I am living, but I need your help. Please, all your ties. Help keep this congregation, this service, 
to continue here on this Saturday morning. The wake up jump, M here gets the poison ticket too, gets a lot of damage there. Double poison application too. It's been ticking this whole time. That's about 40% off that one confirm. Right, nice conversion. Oh, caught the rollback, but wasn't able to get the confirm. Can't believe he caught the rollback. That's wild. Clean stuff here, 5M. Again, a lot of damage off this juggle here. Still keep pushing towards the corner. Pineapples trying to slowly figure out the smash up here. Nice, the 2A catch. And blessed be your prayers have been answered. We, we thank thee for this opportunity to show the way to this hooligan out here throwing barrels amongst the congregations. And Lupro stick it with the brawler here. We're not changing to the DK. We're letting it rock. Yeah, two all in the set. Last chance here. Pineapples ask for all the prayers in chat. Oh, nice action, just gets out of dodge there, avoids the cave-in. Ooh, it spaces oh, out the wow. 5M. Yeah. There you go, running up on the pressure. Good spear. Keep the space in there. Nice. Got the slide in. Good block, though, for Pineapples. Now we're kind of stuck here for a little bit. Stagger pressure. Oh, nice there, roll. Nice. Ah, still got caught low. Yeah, and there we go. Right back into the same setup we saw earlier. Taking off that poison damage, too. And just does the cave in right off. Point blank chill, knowing that he won't check the armor. All right, got the pull up here. Nice, gets the slide. Reversal is not enough. How long does this go? Oh, he Get off to of catch me. it. So scary. Right now, the five It's time to bless this child. I've had about enough of your sins, and I shall forgive you in the light that is the Lord. Oh. Lord have mercy. Heavens above. Bless this child as we continue into the next. Oh, it's oh, not no! Wait a second. Oh, God's plan. God's the plan. jump spear. God's plan. God's plan. Oh, my goodness. God's plan coming to fruition here. Pineapples now on set point here against Lupro. Okay, kicking conversion off the net. Cave in. We're going to get some damage here. Should we go for the poison? There we go. Look at the damage that the yeah. brawler gets yeah, off of that. Geez, so much damage over time with that poison. Another cave in coming through. <laughs> Goodness. It's good pressure there. This is so tense because both players have enough MP where they can just explode the other character now. Oh, the poke out to conversion, and you still get the OTG slide afterwards. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh no, but the bear, no. the layers! What the hell just happened? The layers, so we tried to get the reversal there, right? But already had barrel summoned, we already had Kaven coming through. Like, yeah, the homies on deck. This is a 3 one fighter, apparently, the crazy if thing you're is, playing as Brawler. The crazy thing is, I didn't even see the barrels, so it looked like when he did Kaven, I was like, why are barrels coming out? And that's the visual noise that you have to deal with on Brawler. Nice shoulder charge, big conversion. Yeah, I got the corner push as well. That's very important here to get that better position. He's trying to stagger here, looking like Ryu Street Fighter with the staggered crowd Ooh. strong. And there we go, big open up. We don't have enough to quite seal it just yet, but bad situation here for Lupro. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Adaptation station, it's not, wait, it is enough, and there we go, Pineapples taking it 3-2 over Lupro. They all looked at me and said that this man was the pure evil one, but here we are. One more game, one more round. Oh, was that 2-2? Two, two? And the Lord's light shows me the way. They're trying to get the countdown here. Yeah, 2 all. Oh, it's not 3-2? No, it's not 3-2, it's 2-0. Oh, cool. I got too high. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I got too excited. Uh, hey, no, no, no. It's okay, because even on the scoreboard, it said 2 all. Okay. So, okay, so it, so it is 2-2 two, two right now. One more match, and the DK coming up. We're good. Yeah, I was about to say, brawl, letting the brawler rock all the way through. All right, here we go. The cleaner's coming in. We have the DK on Lupro's side. 
Yeah, had to go back. The Blasphemer coming back with the Dragon Knight. In my home, the House of the Lord. Oh, and there you go, different routing here in the corner. Ooh, nice blocks. And this is something that we're a little bit more familiar with. Dragon Knight against Crusader gets to go to town when Crusader's in the corner. Yep, and this is the matchup we've seen before, obviously, right? Nice scoop on good rolls. And honestly, I like the difference here that Lupro is still, you know, finding this. Oh! Yeah, making use of that new change. You're just going to yeet across the screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my goodness. Just zipping out there. Lupro getting the knockdown here. We have the safe jump. Goes for the whip. Nice patience here from Pineapple. Just poking up on Astra. Whoa, not again. Why does she get to zip around like that? I mean, she has wings, of course. I mean, you know, that's, that's fair. That's Why have wings if you're not going to use them? Yeah. So true. All right, there, OTG. Should be nice. able to seal this out with the Rapture. Awakening. Here we go. There we go. Set point here for Pineapples now. He up against Lucro. Said, Lord, give me strength to cleanse this Blasphemer, this demon child, with this Winged hell beast. spawn <laughs> in my house. Oh my goodness, and here we go again. Pineapple's running in with the 2A, just stagger pressure working out. Lupro seems a bit shaken now. Uh, the Dragonite pick not working out, not shaking up the matchup enough. Pineapple just is ready. Ooh, stagger pressure. Again, stagger who does get the confirm. Oh my goodness, yep, yeah, forever and a day to confirm that. There you go, last chance here. See if Lupro has what it takes here on the Dragon Knight. Poking out, that was a throw, that was it. They had to do something. I do appreciate that Pano's jump with Lupro, though, just to make sure that they jump up. There we go, the three, two. Pineapples over Lupro, but what an amazing showing from the bro. Amazing showing indeed, and, and as long as you have faith, faith in the House of Crusader, you too can be blessed with victory. All that you need to do is believe, no matter what he then knocks at your door, you too can have the glory that be the light of the crusader taking you beyond the top eight precipice into the promised land that will be one of these glorious CEO Taku, CEO Taku, seven medals. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> God is good for crusader. Indeed, indeed. But here, moving on in our winner's side, we have Blue Linkies versus Gone Mad. Blue Linkies, you know, uh, having a spectacular performance this weekend so far in uh, MK1 this weekend. So it'll be mm. interesting to see how far. Look, Blue Linkies just a menace in this game, too. Oh, yeah. But Gone Mad, also a menace in DNF Duel and also participated in MK1. So, you know, a little bit of overlap uh, oh, for yeah. both of these players. Yeah, and that's kind of the fun thing. You know, everyone's played a bunch of different games. Mm -hmm. It is a great time to be a fighting game enjoyer. Yeah. You know, we had MK1 just come out. We got Uni2 coming up yes. on the horizon. We got oh Tekken 8. We got Project L. We got Grand Blue Fantasy Rising. Like, I could just keep going Too on. good. It is a great time. And then Siotaku really has been a celebration of those fighting games that might not get, you know, as much shine as the other ones. So that's why I, I yeah. love every year. The vibes are immaculate. Yeah, absolutely. Like, so many of these games continue to get a, a ton of love. And it's been a big renaissance uh, across fighting games, but very specifically anime fighters as well, too. Uh, I mean, you're looking at it like DNF Duel, Grand Blue, like you said, and Uni. Like, those three being really big to get that come up. Uni, too. Players have been frothing at the mouth for that update for quite some time. It'll be great to see how that lines up uh, as well. And still, Dragon Ball getting another uh, renaissance uh, pretty soon here as well, potentially with the uh, addition of rollback when that beta comes through. Uh, but yeah, for DNF Duel to get that additional flair with this update, with new characters on the way, our first Spectre. Yo, we're getting both new characters in this bracket alone? Okay. I think that might be Blue Linkies on Spectre. I no, it's gone, man. It's gone, man. Excuse me, excuse me. No, it's gone, man. Yeah. I can read. And I'm, it looks like Inquisitor on Blue Linkies? Interesting stuff here. No, that can't be right. I, I, 
it, it is what is on screen right now. You are seeing it before your eyes. <laughs> that was it looks, it looks like they're thinking about it right now. You know, we're, we're just going for it. This new era of DNF Duel? Okay. Okay. Yes, you know, Swiftmaster has been uh, an okay character, did get a little right. bit of the nerf bat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe some say a little bit too much of the nerf bat. But, Who would uh, say that? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Just point them out to me right now. But we'll see how it turns out here. You know, Inquisitor um, versus Spectre. Spectre character that, you know, even, you know, a bit newer, hasn't seen as much, but still pretty strong. I love the way that space control and being able to zip around the screen. Yeah. Um, with the, I think it's called Booze. I'm sorry? It's called Booze, the, the zip. Booze? Yeah, it's called Booze. They have Booze. To you can't oh. travel with Booze. That's the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, so Godman um, getting a nice confirm here, switching sides back in the OTG on the tornado. Already 50% life lead here for Godman. Nice take up gets the OTG, save jump situation. Blue Link just one for the guard cancel. What an interrupt Ooh. on the dash. My god, the 5A. What a whiff punish there from Godman, and there we go. That should be the round cash and right out. OTG, easy peasy. Tries to hold over the fire carpet as well, too. Nice pickup. There we go. Oh, almost got the pickup there with the zip, too. Clean stuff here. Looks like it gone mad. Is keeping the pressure on. Going for the double grab. I whiffed it. I'm just going to do it again. And again! This is facing here. The Licky's not going for anything. Just getting stuck here. Back oh, against no. the corner. Huge counter Missed hit. Missed the OTG. Yeah, just with her 5M there. Didn't actually hit. Yeah, I'll keep setting fireballs over here. No big deal. Nice. At the very tip of the spear. No. Fortunate here. Okay, there we go. 4S trying to get something started here. Doesn't get the hit. Right, trying to get that extra navigation there. There we go. Nice. nice. Oh, I mean, the patience to be able to stare down your opponent right in the face of danger. Who's going to draw first? Yeah, that, that was definitely scary stuff. That could have yeah. easily been grabbed. So yeah. I, I love that as kind of like an anti-throw option. But we'll see if Blue Linkies will go to a different character. I see they're pulling up something on their phone, so maybe we're going for a different character. It's like, we got a text. Like go back which matchup the Spectre lose? <laughs> <laughs> got the text message. That we go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> let, let, they let, can't block this forever. Go back. Let, let, let me spell my little wind boy. I'm about to get blown away. <laughs> So just taking a little breather here, yeah. trying to figure out, you know, this, this is winner side, so it, 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 if anyone loses here, they still have loose side to go through, but, you know, it's such a huge advantage. And there we go, the Swift Master that we usually see on Blue Linkies. See, you know what? I always, again, we're still on winner's side, and usually Blue Linkies will try a different character on winner's side of a top eight. You know what? Let me just explore it. And then once you knock Blue Linkies down to losers, that's when, all right, that's it. Gloves are off. Mm -hmm. It's time to go Swift Master. So an early pick for Swift Master here. Uh, in this opening for top eight, but also not unexpected. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this is the comfort food character here for uh, Blue Linkies. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a matchup. I feel could play a little more com more comfortable, where you can just kind of do the, the the buster there, right? Right. Contest mid screen because as you can see, Spectre has an insane mid range option. <laughs> Look at that! That covers seventy five percent of the screen, and you get a full conversion off the fireball here. Gone mad! Look at this damage zero. Such a short combo for all that damage, my goodness. Yo, while falling open up, Blue Link is in trouble. Oh yeah, there we go. Next hit will do it here. Oh, Tries nice. to cash out the Daredevil, but no go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at the rage on that. I've not ever in the life of this game until now seen a match where Swiftmaster did not have a significant combo. Like that was complete shutdown. At least Swiftmaster in the hands of Blue Linkies not have an opportunity to punish. Wow. Yeah, the right, big, big thing is the Spectre has massive maneuverability that, right. that kind of like, it's kind of maybe better or on par than Swiftmaster. So, you know, uh, Swiftmaster's gonna have to like adjust with being able to just right, space right. control to make sure Spectre can't just zip in. Ooh, Ooh, there we go. 
Huge counter hit buster. Yeah, tried to assume the stance, didn't find the mark. There we go. And they're gonna look a lot more like usually Blue Link is on a Swift Master, so. You know, able to get some clean hits. Why does that check for 99 seconds? That's crazy. Are you kidding me? So can Swift Master. <laughs> <laughs> Swift Master can do it too. I don't want to hear it. It's been a long time coming for Swift Master. Yeah, but still really effective here, you yeah. know. Despite some changes, still very good character. Look at yeah. that damage there, oh Lily. And super Whoa. jump heights yeah. doing combos in the sky. Yep. I set up the Raging Storm as well. Oh, Hold nice. the belt. The actual classic. Put the belt on. Run up. Stuff whatever they're doing, and Blue Link is tying it up on one. It's over. The storm has passed. I don't believe you. No. We're in Florida. There's, There's no another shot. one around the corner. You can literally walk, walk outside. It'll be sunny one like for five minutes. It could rain the next five. Amateur stuff. We change seasons every other week in the Midwest. <laughs> And there you go, another open up here for Blue Linksies. And the tough thing here is that I feel with Swiftmaster and their current iteration is that even though they still have all of the stuff Swiftmaster had, right. the damage nerfs are kind of rough. Look, Gone Mad got one hit, and having that low health, and on top of Spectre doing good damage, like, look at this, this might be the round. We'll see here, still has a bit of work to do. Just put Blue Linkies into Awakening. Oh, nice. DP out of there. Oh, <laughs> the belt on it. Just slapped in the face for it. And extending the pressure here in the corner. Spectre just zipping and zooping all around right now, trying to bait something out. Heal! Get back over here. Nice. There we go. Good air out. I love this new stuff from Swiftmaster here. Like, this is sick. Yeah, the routing's a bit Ooh. different. Unfortunate that you weren't able to get Awakening off. That nice! No. We're stuffing out that zip. Put that back in your pocket, sir. That is wild. All you needed was a touch and gone mad. Couldn't close it out. Oh, nice. And there we go. I love that. You get one knockdown, zip them into the corner. Super smart stuff here from gone mad. Mm -hmm. right, orb. Nice. Caught you reaching a little bit too far over there, so we're going to keep you honest. Landmine over here. Yes. Oh, big whip. Oh, that's yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> that did not connect at all. Was it recovery? Maybe. That's what it called the ghost move. Yeah. <laughs> you, you weren't ever really sure if it was there in the first place. True. Went to the void. Nice 5A check again here. Cleaning up. I'm not sure if enough damage on this route. Oh, misses Ooh. the buster. Uh. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. still here. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm I love not that. Moving. The mind game too. It's like, should I zip forward, zip down? There's no way. Because one might expect, like, okay, wait, let me respect the space and backdash, and you know, the the layers of mind games there. Yeah, like you said. Yeah, so Swift Master is definitely working out here for Blue Linkies. The Inquisitor may not have been ready, so I, I love to see it. Uh, Blue Linkies has really been, you know, really pushing Swift Master throughout the, the this game's life cycle. So, so cool right, to see yeah. still playing it despite a lot of the changes. I mean, look at the routing difference now, too. Like, more aerial base as opposed to the grounded usually off a of Raging Storm, right? So. Yeah, so the Raging Storm. The orb's still there. You gotta be very careful. It looks like Don Matt extending far enough. Nice throw. Ooh! Ooh not the 5B. Of course. The shotgun. It's just like locked and loaded every single time. Every Why does time. it go so far? Why is it so fast? Every time. Should be able to get the awakening here with this route. No, just goes for the orb. Maybe the awakening wasn't enough. Yeah. It's very interesting to think about, like, okay, there is a damage difference now in this iteration of the game, too. It's just, all right, I can't just spend it guaranteed here. I need one more combo. Nice spacing it out here, trying to back up. Playing kind of a weave game. Oh, a little bit too far for the confirm. Nice conversion, though, for Blue Linkies to keep themselves so safe. Good at the DP. Yeah. All right, Blue Linkies on set point here. Gonna go into winners finals. Okay, okay. Good stuff here from God 
Mad misses the pickup. Yep. Blue Linky's a chance to get out of there. Big trade. He's gonna keep it Ooh, going. Oh, the roll through, but still Blue Linky is able to cover with that one coming through and get the solid pickup. There we go. We're routing here. We have the flush stuck him right back in. Putting the orb right on top. We're gonna be able to keep the pressure on, nice but the guard cancel. But right back into it here. You can't escape the pressure from Swiftmaster here. Especially with those forward advancing normals. There we go. All right, oh, yeah, the Awakening. Awakening should be able to wrap it up here. That's real good here. Blue Linky is not skipping a beat on this Swiftmaster. Yeah, super clean stuff. Um, I, I do like the Inquisitor pick just as looking. You know, let, me, let me throw this in there, and if it works out, that's sick. Because I'm trying to maybe transition away from playing Swiftmaster as a main character and like, you know, maybe explore other options there. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, the tried and true Swiftmaster won the day here in this winter semi, so moving on. <laughs> and that's the thing too, because normally it's it's an activation from Blue Linkies mm -hmm. when Blue Linkies enters the loosest side of the bracket yeah. that Blue Linkies will uh, switch from the alternate character to the Swiftmaster here, but Gone Mad have pushed enough buttons with the Spectre mm -hmm. to be like, you know what? I need consistency here in my routing. Let me go oh, pick yeah. up this Swift Master a little bit early here. But uh, yeah, still a good set. Gone Mad, still a mad lad out here. We'll be seeing them later in this loser side of the bracket. But first, we do have another loser's match. Hubert up against, you know we're not allowed to say this, but Juicy is coming up right now. I think we can say the name. Yeah, and well, when and, 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 and when you guys see the name, you'll understand why. Why <laughs> do we we <laughs> skip the first? Just King Juicy. Okay, so uh, so I'm gonna say three three words in succession. There's, there's there's a space between each word. Right. Okay. I'm gonna say sofa. Uh, King. Juicy. There was a long gap. You Huge know, gap. just just making sure that you guys understand it is sofa. There was three separate words. King. Juicy. So those are the three words that make up this person's name. I, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna, we're gonna, we said it. It's on the stream. If you really want to make us say it in succession, you can edit the Twitch clip. You, you can, can just, put, uh, you can you put can it subscribe. together. You can subscribe to the, uh, the, um, the TNS2 channel. The TNS2 channel. Um, and one day we will say it. And I will refer to them exclusively as SKJ. I was gonna say Juicy. Yeah, you can say Juicy. Juicy. I like SKJ because it's, like, it's like that other anime player. SSK? Uh, SKD. Or SKD. Yeah. Super Saiyan Kid yeah. is uh, another one. Mm -hmm. But here we go. Hubert versus SKJ coming up here. Wait a second. Okay, it's a button check. Yeah, yeah button check. <laughs> Everyone call now. I was like, wait. I was like, Yo, Hubert on the Ranger train? Man, you know what? It's been a minute. When's the last time we saw Rich? It's been a long time. Um, ever since some of the changes, yeah, you really haven't seen too many Rangers. Oh. I feel like uh, Ranger definitely got hit uh, for sure in this last patch. I, I, I almost missed the Ranger downplay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout, shout out to Cal. A couple times, a couple hey, times. Cal, you're a real one. Oh my god, but here we go. Hubert coming up with a Zerker. SKJ, or oh no, it's SFJ, I'm dumb. No, it is SKJ. No, it's SK. See, I, I, oh no, I read it in my mind at, oh no. Oh no, disaster. Okay, SKJ up here against Hubert on the Hitman. So Zerker Hitman, a match that we've seen many, many times in the past. So let's see how it turns out here. Um, the thing is, you have to be very careful about getting Hitman in Awakening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this time we did the 30% uh, cube, so I'm curious on the changes for that one. I, I ended up messing up on that. All right, again, Huber with the trademark aggression here already has SKJ here in the corner. Ooh, ooh, the, whoa, 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 full distance. Excuse me. Hey. Look at that space, they just right on the tip of that 5B, and now Hubert in Awakening here. He's gonna keep the pressure on, trying to IS through any of this stuff, but Hubert's still going. Nice roll. Wow, what a finish from Sofa. I got so tense. 
<laughs> you thought I was going to say the whole thing? No, you're good. Okay, <laughs> Hubert, again, getting a lot of these stagger pressure here with the Zerker. Nice guard counsel from SKJ. And again, we're seeing a very patient game from both players. They're, you know, if their pressure doesn't work out, we're backing up to full screen and reevaluating. It's true. Right, good little pickup here, nice. And able to push to the corner as well, too. I like the ender. Oh, good roll from Hubert. Pick up here just fell out a little bit too early. Hubert in a bit of trouble. Indomitable Spirit does have the frenzy of line. I stay on there top go, here. Got the low. Oh no, and look at all that gray held too. Cash it out. What that MP skill. Yeah, but still a tall order here. No health for Hubert, so one touch, you'll lose. OTG. But you don't have to worry about it with the awakening. Faking is in trouble. <laughs> True. <laughs> and there you go, Hubert. <laughs> Getting that around off the awakening. There we go again. I love the 5B spacing here. Runs up, not happy with the confirm. So it's the 5A whoa, jump whoa. and jump me. It's an overhead. We're going to town here. SKJ trying to fight through. Oh, nice. no. Stood up a little bit too early. That 2D going to get the pickup as well. Juicy with the corner push out. And already on the West Coast of the street, too far for the health split. That was too far for the OTG. Ooh. And the jump in from downtown Hubert. And now we go right into Awakening. We're going to push it even further. Conversion again. Add a little bit more damage on top here with the five B loops. There we go again. The Awakening going to seal this round out. SKJ had a really strong start in this round, too. Yeah. But Hubert's just been so clutch. As Hubert usually is. <laughs> That's. We go right back into it. SKJ just take a little breather. Might need to. The stress of fighting a Berserker is pretty intense. Just a little bit out of space for that 2B. Nice. nice. Good. Oh, nice. Close for that back roll right through it. And that, oh, just able to catch the Ooh. roll and tries to roll out. They just weren't comfortable being cornered. Nice little follow up there from Hubert. Got the command grab. OTG. There you go. He's trying to IS right through. Has access to that gray health now. So SKJ can just go for a reversal potentially. Right into the awake. Oh, no, so unfortunate. What a conversion reaction from Hubert. Like, literally just knew that was potentially going to happen here in conversion. Still would have given Hubert the opportunity to continue following up, even if uh, Juicy did not go with the guard cancel. Yeah, just the patience here. Like, yeah. Just working out so well. You know, Hubert will bulldog you into the corner and just sit there. It's like, what do you want to do, man? <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to die today? Just. Tell me. There you go. Great punish there on the frenzy activation here. And now SKJ getting something started now. There we go. Oh, big backdash on the DP. There. That's enough. I was getting a little, little, little scared there, but there you go. SKJ getting one on the board now. Yeah. Wow, caught that rolling once again. Feel SKJ being yeah. so antsy on defense. Two A interrupt, and now Juicy able to push out one more time here. Bring it down. Ah, too far. That's the thing throughout this match. Juicy has been just a smidge too far on several interactions, and that still gives Hubert the opportunity for those wake ups to still punish after. But Hubert, there we go for the Ooh, reset there. A little bit too beautiful. early on the jump B, though. But you have the backup plan. That's, again, the layers that Hubert has been applying on offense is just, okay, I do have a backup if I do miss. That's huge. Not enough here. Get the setup. Yeah, IS to make sure you're right on top of him. But now you're in the corner against Hubert. Oh, we're spending it all right now. Oh, staggered low. Good stuff. And SKJ tying it up. I can't believe the replay storage space is full. Clean that up.
Oh, well, you know, we play a lot of <laughs> a lot of DNF Duel. There's too many replays. Oh, nice. Aggressive nice. jump there. Working out there. SKJ score for that success. Mm -hmm. Knockdown situation. The Duel for the board cross is going for the safe jump here. Jump beat. SKJ opting over a bunch of IS, but. Oh! Really work out here. Nice. The Gore-Tex. Oh, the conversion high as well. So sneaky with that. Another one right after. Yeah, should be able to wrap this up here, actually. All right, high, easy, 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 easy. One, two, three. There we go. Huber again. Once Huber gets that pressure, and it just feels unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. Have to, though, because now that you push Hitman into the Awakening State, I'm not giving you the opportunity for those follow-ups at all. We'll just give it that 6S, go, go. reset with that TG. Yeah, they didn't have enough MP to go into Caraco, so I like that option. Just go for a standing reset. Oh, the mix, empty high into low. Oh, go for the optimal Bring stuff it down. here. Yeah. Mm, again, running the mix. Cash it out here. Good. Oh. SKJ Challenge lines of life. It's been very back and forth so far. Right? Again, just spin those ISs just to make sure you're in that space. And pull the 2 pump and the 2S. But again, it is the Hubert show here in the corner. SKJ trying to find a way out. Look at the guard bar, too. Yeah, yeah. There's a handful of IS right there, too, from uh, Juicy. Trying to get that uh, punish at the very least, but Hubert still maintaining that control. Push Juicy into Awakening here, so Hubert can actually just probably will consider sending this. Not gonna quite get a kill yet. There we go. Yep, she's extending it further and further into the Awakening. Good Lord. Assistance. That's Good the name stuff. of the game here on yeah. Hubert. But it's so important, you know, if you're going to get a confirm, you got to make a count, especially as uh, Berserker, since you're not getting your health back like you once were anymore. Oh, that is a, yo, stay hydrated, y'all. That is a big bottle. That has to be 64 ounces. <laughs> I only know because I have a similar size bottle. You know the exact <laughs> ounces. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just getting back in there. Let's see if SKJ can kind of change it up here. Nice whiff punish. With the ash and pork there. There we go, conversion, restand all this damage here off of just that one interaction. Oh no, and not the sour spot DP and getting a combo for just trying to reversal. Yeah. It hit, but that didn't hit well. <laughs> oh, good no. look, nice pickup here from Hubert. Yeah, good kill. All right, now SKJ on the ropes here. Hubert on set point. All right, frenzied up. Oh, no. Yeah, again, spacing such an issue. And even Juicy still rolling into a lot of these hits from Hubert, just rolling yourself into bad scenarios. Oh, nice. Throw that turn a little bit there after that CD, knowing that um, SKJ wasn't going to do anything there. Big open up. There you go, has the convert, actually there's no conversion there to extend a little bit more, but has the bar to get one more OTG. Oh, no, no, no. Still works out. Still works out. They could have just gone for 4S into whatever, but right. you know, trying to optimize it a little bit there. Nice 2B pickup. Oh, All rising A. success. Yeah, yeah. Nice DP here, thanks to that Indomitable Spirit, but Indomitable right back from, from Juicy. Insane round here for SKJ. Yeah. Oh, I didn't believe! Very late confirmed there with a 2S, but Hubert now can play here. He puts on the frenzy. Nice with punish there. And now SKJ tied it up 2-2. Two, two. Insane yes. stuff! That's a huge turnaround right there for Juicy. Oh, I hope the pressure isn't getting to Hubert here. They've been playing so strong, so yeah, dominant. Yeah, yeah. 
And, it, and it's tough when it's been so back and forth. Whenever each player gets started, they just kind of go to town. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you kind of have to, right? I, on both sides. Like, Hitman, you have a little more leeway because you're not sacrificing health. But Berserker has to continu continuously go all in. Nice for conversion here. But only right into the corner. Oh, huge. All right. Oh no, I think we wanted to get the conversion high instead of the conversion low. Okay, backing up again. But again, life is ticking. You could not Ooh. let SKJ get the hit, and there we go, the Gore-Tex catching them mid-screen. Imagine existing within 70% of the screen. I mean, you know? Jesus, what a whip punish from Hubert, <laughs> though. Like, on reaction, I hear a gunshot. All right, Gore-Tex, you're mine. I simply would not be there, you know? Just simply do not be there. <laughs> How do you win every fight? Don't be there. Don't be there. All right, here we go. Humor got Frenzy on. Conversion for conversion. Nice air-to-air -air pickup here from uh, Juicy. Yeah, great start here. The drop on the combo to get punished should be bad for it. Jump and works out for Huber. So she's got there. We got, see, that's what we wanted earlier, too. Just a slight misinput in that corner. But this time, Hubert getting the overhead. Nice stuff. So we the layers going on here. And we can push this further in for the Awakening kill here. One more spent out here. And right into Awakening. And it should kill here. There we go. Good stuff. Oh man, well fought. I was getting a little worried here, but amazing play for both players. Uh, yeah, he, yeah. Hubert definitely a, 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 one of those players that plays incredibly strong. Um, you know, I, I talk to Hubert sometimes, and I'm telling you, like, he'll be like, oh man, I did really bad. I'm like, nah, dude. Like, like literally chill, you're, you're sick with it. Yeah, Hubert's definitely one of those players that is hypercritical of themselves, uh, which uh, I honestly, what top player is it really hypercritical yeah, it, it, of it's themselves? Yeah, it's hard. When you, get yeah. To the, when you get to that level, it, it, it you know, Small mistakes add up, and you're just like, oh, man, I messed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, you're thinking but, about every single opportunity, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but, you know, it's, it's part of the game, and uh, one of the things people don't talk about enough, like, you could be good at the game, mm -hmm. but having a strong mental is also super important. So important. Because you're playing these long matches, long days, and being able to keep your, you know, your mental at 100% yeah. um, is tough. Yeah. Um, you know, just seeing all these players play their hearts out every single time, I'm just so impressed by it. Yeah, because that especially uh, links to your uh, decision making skills mm -hmm. as well in, in these games. You know, your mental fortitude is extremely important. Um, even just the aspect of thinking about the next action that your opponent might potentially take or how you're making your decisions, uh, especially too with based on the information that you're seeing on the screen mm -hmm. as compared to your opponent. Like, there's so many additional layers that you have to think about, too. This isn't an assist fighter. It's like a 1v1 oh, yeah. fighter. But, like, you have to quickly assess the risk-reward of your interactions, um, especially being able to navigate the stream, utilize your resources correctly. And the way that Hubert utilizes conversions, um, you know, has definitely been seen throughout other Berserkers. But the speed in which Hubert makes those decisions is just leaps and bounds different from most Berserker players that we do see. But next up, we have Argent up against Reiko, 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Of course, Reiko we've seen before. Yeah, incredible player. I, I, I am a huge fan. Just because they play a kicker, no, pretty much uh, you never see. If you see a uh, Lost Warrior in a bracket, most likely it's going to be Reiko 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Like one or two uh, Lost Warrior players out <laughs> there. Like, like, I think I think it's like Fu and, <laughs> and Reiko. That's pretty much it. Uh, so Argon again going to show up here on the Vanguard. Has been playing for a bit. And there you go, last warrior pick. Uh, this this matchup's kind of tough. Again, I feel like I say this every single time when we're talking about Lost Warrior, just because the characters are uh, difficult, it, it, difficult it, it, to play with. They, they've gotten some changes for their benefit, but not enough to like uh, really change up their, their, their placing. I do think that you know they they've grown more playable as the game goes on, but it's just it's just kind of brutal uh, when you're uh, 
pretty much your whole toolkit is, is, is kind of just like limited. You have slower normals. You have a count. You have a counter that's slow too. Yeah. But you know when you get the magical beans as we call them, and you get the big damage there off the time freeze, like it is game time. If there's yeah. one thing Lost Warrior has, it is big damage. Yeah, that is very true. Um, absolutely true. One one big call you didn't uh, point out was the fact that still Lost Warrior no legs. Uh, or or what if? Shorter legs underneath there, mm. so that's why he flies. Oh, I see. So you know, that might be something we look at in a future patch update. Those starting to be able to kick might help out. I'm not even sure how he's crouching if he's floating. Exactly. How do you crouch when you're floating? All right, there we go. Though, and here's the big damage coming out of here from the Lost Warrior. Nice blocks here on the cross up. Are you trying to swing? Nothing off the stomp. Oh, the guard I didn't break. even notice. I was so fo Oh, wow. Was not even paying attention to that guard break, and I don't think even Argon was. Yeah, Argon was like, I'm chill blocking this. I'm like, I I'm good. There you go. I'm gonna change it up here. Oh, nice roll. We can't block too much here in this game. The guard bar does exist, even though it is not as strong as it used to be <laughs> going for guard crushes, but. Um, still, it, it is something that you have to look out for. And look at that, just chipping away slowly at it here. Yep, yep. Right, nice delay, able to get closer, reset the pressure. Oh, All nice right. check with the 5A. Gonna get a bit of damage, a little scaled, but here we go, time stop. Get up right afterwards too, get the setup. Nice blocks. I like how we ended that time stop with making sure we stocked another beam. Go two beans on deck. <laughs> they're actually just melted clocks, but we just call it beans anyway. Yeah, they're clocks. <laughs> <laughs> they look like clocks or beans. There you go, Reiko getting the first match here. And you know, one of the one of the great things about being a character specialist on a character not played often, no one really gets matchup experience. Right, right, right. There's Tim Argon getting started here. Double we'll knockdown. Doing more on spacing out. Nice! The stomp is good. We're getting so much damage off this. Our fireball, I like that, but unfortunately, Arkin able to get that punish. Nice throw. Alright, stagger pressure in this corner here. Nice 2A. Here, gonna be a little bit more damage here. Jump M, you do one more. There you go. Oh. Three? Oh, yeah, you can do three. Just keep going. Good stuff. Yeah, Argon slowed out that round real well. Didn't really have to deal with too many Lost right, Warrior things. Right, right, right. And that's kind of the big thing. If Lost Warrior can't do anything, like, that's pretty much it. Uh, defensive options not great on Lost Warrior. Oh, too far for that one. Unless we want to fall faster so we can recover and continue pressure. But most of the time we see uh, uh, Vanguard just continue route with the Pogo. Again, just missing the jump A. So th that is that setup that we saw earlier where they kind of go for the airtrick situation. So maybe just mistiming it. Nice. Got the guard cancel. Right, though. Trying to open this up here with left and right. Nice to a big pickup here for Reiko. Yep, got all that gray health out of here. Oh my goodness, is going for the teleport stab. Look at this damage, we're going right to Awakening, please. No. All right, scary situation here. Reiko does have the life lead, so Argon has to come to Reiko. And there we go, gets the low. Good stuff here from Reiko, just holding it down. Argon trying to get in there. Oh, nice 5 the anti air. Good stuff. Yeah, really good. We have the tackle. And there we go. Actually, landing the jump A this time. And, you know, Reiko saw the setup earlier. He's like, I'm not pressing anything. Not at all. All right, there's your throw. Another one. I swear to God, if we went for a third one, I'm losing my mind. There you go. Guard cancels good. The roll into throw. Oh, nice conversion anti-air from Argon. Really quick reaction here. Yeah, so much damage coming out here from Lost Warrior, pushing Argon into the Awakening. Oh yeah, this time like, I'm not getting hit by that again. Chill. Yeah, held the block button there. All 
right, that awakening ever threatening here. Yeah, th that's it. We're getting time stop here off of this combo. Ooh, he's gonna roll off the swords. And awakening afterwards. Didn't need to do it by respect it. Oh, we need to do it. Oh, yeah. We need to make sure we kill. No advance or butts about it. I want a definitive kill, and that's why we go for Awakening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now Rake will up to, oh, I wonder, most, maybe a character switching to Morgan. There, you know, like we said, there is potentially a Crusader, but no, we're sticking it out. Sticking with the tried and true. Yeah, I must have only been playing uh, Vanguard at that point. I would have assumed that by this point, Argon picked up uh, a Crusader. I remember Argon saying that they were going to pick it up, uh, right. you know, when the patch came out, and yeah. the Crusader was mad busted. But here we go, fighting it out with Vanguard. Has been playing Vanguard since the beginning. Here we go, trying to check with the pressure here. Tries to catch goal with the 2A, but no go. But this pressure just not working out here. And Reiko just lend lending all of these hits. And there you go, time stop. Despite being at the top of the screen, we're still getting damage. <laughs> Alright, nice. Try to go for a sneaky overhead. Back. Oh, oh no. not the swords right in front of you. Yeah, I didn't recover from the roll in time. Mm -hmm. Or at least the dash, excuse me. All right, there oh, we go. Got no. it. Sheesh! Yeah, Yo, the timing on that knew exactly when you were coming out of the time stop. I'm telling you, character specialist. So sick to roll through the tackle. Nice pickup off that poke. Here we go. Set point here for Reiko. Oh, we're just running oh, wow, up with the yeah. 5A. Horrifying. Yeah, yeah Argon, you know, Argon just backing up like that, just being very scared in 99 seconds. Oh, nice. Again, no jumping allowed. Got the 5A pick up. Yeah, we're seeing a very aggressive gameplay here, and this might be it here. The time stops so oh, much yeah. damage. We have MP to cash out, too. Wow, we 3 0 victory over Argon. With, you know, honestly, one of the best Lost Warriors you're going to see oh, yeah. in DNF Duel. I mean, if you're ready yeah. for this matchup, that, that's tough. I love that, Rake. Giving a nice little thumbs up to the camera. So Wait a minute. To see it. Wait a minute. The JP got hit by the JP of DNF Duel. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it. It bees like that, you know? It, it does bees like that. Oh, Very boy. tough stuff, you know? Yeah. I was just about to call that out to you. I was like, it's kind of funny he's wearing the JP costume and he's just like getting hit by the weird gimmick zoner character. <laughs> Someone with long reach, teleportation, and spikes that come out of portals? Mm. Wait. Where have I seen that before? <laughs> oh, boy. But still, good stuff to both players. Unfortunately, Argon will go down there. Reiko will move on. And now his next match, Lupro versus Huber. I wonder if Lupro will stick with the Brawler. That'll be interesting. I, I, maybe, maybe, because like, it's a fair call because we did see Dragonite towards the end, you mm. know, in the final game that uh, got Lupro here in this position. Uh, but with Hubert sticking with Berserker, you know, I feel like Brawler would probably be a solid play the way that Lupro was playing, right? Mm. Because then you're you're setting up barrels on the ground making it very difficult for uh, Berserker to close the gap and uh, also start applying that pressure. Also make uh, Gore-Tex a bit of a risk, too, yeah. since those barrels are going to back you up. Uh, of course, you could destroy the barrels, right, as we saw with uh, another projectile being able to interact with those. Um, but we'll see. Uh, you know, especially if you have Dragonite as last resort with those new the, the faster air dash as yeah. well. It's going to be really interesting to see to uh, take on a Berserker of this caliber. But... Uh, time will tell. We are getting these uh, controls set up. Characters are going to be locked in in a moment. No, I'm definitely here for the brawler. I'm just trying to see how Zerker deals with the barrels. You know, not not everyone has good options against it, so I want to mm -hmm. see if we'll see some weird interaction where the Gore-Tex goes through the barrels, sucks them in, and then Zerker gets hit, and then brawler gets a combo anyway. You know, I when I think about this, too, <laughs> it's just like, does Berserker, does Hubert utilize more of uh, Blood Wall? Because mm -hmm. Hubert doesn't really utilize that ability, but in this matchup, there might be a use case for it because of those barrels. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see here. Looks like Lupro is locking in 
with the Brawler. So we'll get at least a couple matches here of this matchup. Uh, and I'm so excited, dude. Just, just seeing the new characters played already where the yeah, 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 just yeah. came out. And Lupro is doing the hot stuff with it, work. too. Work. Putting in work. Go, Hubert versus Lupro. Coming right in. All right, load it up in here. So sick, too. I love the fact oh that my God. I love the fact that they picked the the, the um, I think it's the second awakening. So like, it, it, first awakening's cool, but the design's not as crazy as the second awakening one. So it's very cool to see yeah. um, them kind of like picking from different parts. Yeah, of it's in, because troubleshooters like that too, yeah. right? Because troubleshooters look is the neo troubleshooter as opposed to the traditional. Right, there we go. Already Hubert at a half health, bait out the DP. That's a dead character. There's definitely no shot that Hubert How? Oh no, the drop off the barrels didn't even land Don't matter, how? What? Life comes at you fast in DNF duel. I looked away for a moment. Oh my goodness, I, I love that. It's so funny, just the crowd is just like, what? The crowd is laughing. You, you were delivering a Red Bull, and I was making sure the Red Bull got delivered, <laughs> and I look back, he's dead. Oh my goodness, and there we go, the slide. Getting the sand out, DP coming out from Hubert again, already at a half health, this is so scary. Okay, managed to avoid the cave in here, but Lupro can still just kind of throw it out nice. And there we go, big open up here for Hubert. We have a little bit of health to work with where we can do a couple of conversions. There you go, command grab, go right to OTG here. To Awakening, firing right back. Oh, yeah. Despite having a tough start on the first round, tying the rounds right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, one little blunder is, uh, you know, anything to freak out about, right? Yeah, good lord, the damage coming out from Brawler and. Okay. Oh, you record the clip. <laughs> <laughs> clip that. Yeah, I'm sick of this. Give me a Nice, Dominable Spirit. Couple times. Yo, that interrupted net. Yeah, I like the vision there, going for IS there on that string to make sure you go for 5B poke. But unfortunately, there is armor and the rocks still come down there at, on the cave in. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, that's your GP. Nice low. Wow, far reaching lows. I'll try to delay it to get the aerial pickup here, but unfortunately, was not able to get a full follow up. Oh my god, just the movement here. On Berserker, has Blue Pro nice. on the ropes. Nice, just the tip of that jump A. Yeah, Hubert is so good with the jump A conversions here. Oh, oh no. no, drop. That's a rare drop from Hubert. Oh no. <laughs> oh, here comes the Yo, barrels. No, there's no shot. You got the throw. Oh my goodness. What in Mario Party is happening right what, now? I mean, what can you really do? You know, like that's. You're, you're one touch away from death. The timing of the barrel is going to be tough. You're likely going to trade if you try to challenge here, and it's not going to be enough to get Lupro away from you for that to even happen. Yeah, so still, we're keeping on here. Oh, nice. nice. That jump piece goes so far. Right. Indomitable Spirit starts to come through here for Lupro. Look at all of that gray health. Right, it's hit. about to get obliterated. No! Okay, there oh. you go. Managed to catch him in the air to air there. Got a little scary there, but still managed to get a guard crush here. Yeah, yeah. T intense stuff here from Hubert. Nice Helmbreaker. Right. Poison does get applied. Damage over time, which is huge for Lupro. Ooh, oh, what a shimmy to bait off the DP here from Hubert. Oh, the slide missed? How? That's so unfortunate here. And now we're going to push towards the corner. We have so much health to work with here. We have the conversion. One more hit, and this could be it. 
Nice patience, oh, wow. just goes for the reversal. Oh no, and the homies, oh the avoidance too! Stop, that was so smart! Avoiding that with that jump M, and there we go, Hubert still fighting through. Lupro trying to manage to get something out here, we'll just go for the barrels full screen. Yeah, but they get taken out, oh my god! It happened, I told you it would happen. You try to go for the Gore-Tex, and the barrels would still keep coming. I'm coming for you. Oh my goodness, this character is so cool. All right, well, maximum reach here for a Hubert to get the follow up in the corner. There we go. A little bit of help back. Ooh, yep, tapping up on the dome there. Double jump, A. Good stuff. Blood Sword 2. Now Loop Pro. In Awakening now, so they can just uh, go for Awakening there and get the Awakening passive there, too. But Hubert not giving them a chance. He's going for the mix. There's no player like Hubert that does uh, that conversion so consistently. Wow, the maximum reach shut down all the barrels there from Hubert. One touch is all Hubert needs, of course. Oh, jeez. That goes on forever. There we go. J jump S here, trying to poke out. Confirm to jump M. This life's not enough. Oh, the back roll. I love the avoidance here. So scary, trying to find a way for the barrels. barrels. They're still coming. All right, 2A interrupt. Lupro couldn't really challenge on top of the barrels here. Both players down to one touch. Ooh! The grab, the command grab sneaks in, and Hubert takes game two. The distance. The distance zero. Oh, man. The stress. The stress. Oh, we're going back to the oh, game. Immediately. No. Immediately. One game was all it took. But it doesn't seem you're too far off, right? Like, yeah. You're pretty consistent with the... Uh, Brawler, but also the changes to Drag Knight might also carry you to victory as well. <sighs> All right, a little bit more of the same here. You know, just try it out. You know, Brawler did get that one match. So, right, right, right. Right back to DK. Uh, still, fun character to watch. <laughs> Zipping around there with that air dash is so crazy. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, in the patch, they also kind of uh, meddled with uh, Aster's damage a little bit in this patch, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. So, so you're not just getting obliterated with each other. What a pickup. There we go. Hubert again, just going to town here. Yeah, we use my S. Oh, that sucks. It is unfortunate when you go for the IS, you're like, okay, cool, let me, let me get some gray health and immediately you get hit by a skill. Right. I mean, that's another layer of the mind game, right? With that addition of a mechanic, like that's just, okay, then I have to immediately spend on my end skill. Look at this, Awakening got the kill. Hubert, full frontal assault. Yeah, let's see if um, Lupro can get a little bit more of a footing here. It looks like Hubert's just business as usual. It doesn't let the chain really change things too much. There we go. As I say, zipping right over that uh, 5B. Yeah, really trying to reach there with the 5B. And then, of course, Lupro does know how to whip punish here. Got the grab for the under. Oh, nice. Trying to stay high. There we go. Trademark Dragon Knight gameplay here. Tries to DP right through. Gets that 5S star. Just takes so much damage. So tough to try to DP through this pressure from Dragon right here. Hubert took a chance and look at what it cost them. Gauntlet again, going for the empty into the lows. Tricky stuff. Very clean, like a lot more like we usually see Dragon Knight rounds go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, almost got that. Full confirm it, just going for it. I luckily had conversion, so that wasn't that big of a risk, but an amazing option to use, just kind of approach people. Nice here. All right, look for that distance max range there. So Hubert has awareness of how much further they have to go. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the momentum a little bit too much there for that combo. Yeah, but got the double overhead too with jumping A. Again, going to work here. Getting a lot of health back off the command grab there with the awakening one more time. Not enough just yet. There is some scaling there off the command grab. Goes for the reset there. Reset jump A. Conversion another overhead there. And Hubert is just so clean with these setups here in the corner. 
Goodness. Right, I'm wondering if we stick it out here, Dragonite. Oh, yes, we yeah. mm -hmm. have. Stick it with it. Even though I, I think they were doing real well at the Brawler, too. Right. There wasn't anything like that was like, like oh, man, they're getting smoked. You know, I do think that Brawler had enough, like, um, different things that he wanted to deal with where he didn't turn out that bat more. But here we go, sticking it out here with the Dragonite. Nice roll through, but still able to interrupt with 2A. Hubert maintaining this light lead. Excellent little GG pick up two. Reset spot dodge there from Lupro, able to get the anti here. Big home run swing from the corner. Oh, nice. Double overhead off the flight cancel here. Should be able to finish up with the awakening here post Astra. Ooh, I'm not sure we wanted that side slump, but we still got it. Awakening activation should kill. Still works out, especially on those Astra loops, depending on how high uh, Astra hits them, they can cross up like that, which kind of messes it up if yeah, you try to yeah, do the loops. Yeah. So it works out there that all you need awakening after that. We're gonna send out Astra, nice poke out from Huber. My eyes go crazy when I see Dragon. I'm like, where is she going? <laughs> All right, going fireball there. Too far, excellent whip punish though from Lupro. Nice. And still jockeying for position, Gaja grabs, so now we're gonna go back to this neutral game. Oh, again! That's, and that was interrupt, so I mean, hey, that could have been a backdash starter. And it looks like Lupro's about to tie it all up to him. Yeah, Dragonite got that jump scare mechanic now, looking like BLJs. We're still fighting it out. Nice, the Gore-Tex. Imagine being 70% of the screen. Could not be me. Trying to shimmy a little bit. Oh, the no, is out. Far. No, the whip on the 5B. We're picking it right back up, but still. Ooh, big wow. swing. That is unfortunate because Hubert was already committed to backdashing at that moment that Hubert could have got a huge punish to all. And hey, look, Lupro said, hey, come on. It's all right. We can get through this. A stressful match for both players here because it's do or die in this two all set point. I am loving the crowd right now. Anytime something crazy happens, you just hear maniacal They're laughing. They're all <laughs> popping off right now. They're all standing, you can see them in the background, the entire DNF crew, and then some. Like, I, I love it, the community is always sick for this game. They share out every single time. Yes, absolutely. Always looking to continue to grow each other, uh, with each other. Here we go, two, two. Oh, man, I can't believe this is loser's quarters. Like, player goes home. Yeah. The both characters taking a breather here, channeling it. We'll see who has enough to take it all the way. Oh, wow, this time got the back roll. We're gonna get caught high. Nice, nice. get the punish this time. Big start for Hubert. Unfortunately, here's the loop though. Gonna take so much damage here off rip. Oh no, opened up low too. Good push of two. Conversion, we're getting one more. To awakening, OTG, is it enough? It's, it's probably. Oh yeah, no, this should be enough. There's hardly any help. Yeah, yeah, even with the scaling of the command grab, yeah, yeah. that's still pretty good. Enough. Here we go, Hubert on set point now against yeah. Lupro. Crowd chanting USA. <laughs> oh my goodness, the sneaky low. Nice 2A here. Yeah, there nice. we go, guard cancel out. Oh, big swing, Dragon yeah. with Princess. Yeah, missed out on the animations of that, so went for Frenzy immediately, but Lupro had a conversion for Hubert on deck. Back after this setup, too nice. Goes for the whiff. Four S. Oh, Astra activation. Tricky stuff. There you go. DP afterwards. Yeah, Hubert was like, Man. I was ready for Grab, that. Look at that. Shifty with the five A. Are you kidding me? Wasn't ready to block. All right, but you gotta make this count. I mean, that's a grip of health to take away here. One more rep. We Should be able to get to OTG awakening. There we go. Oh. Taking the headphones off. Well fought. Hubert will move on.
through losers here. Lupro will go out here, and I think that's a fifth. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. Just two back-to-back -back matches are, from Hubert alone that are just, wow, this should have been, like, you know, on winners. Like, it's crazy to see. I'm really curious to see how far Hubert goes in this bracket. Of course, obviously, we're at losers' semis for them. Uh, but we have one more player to decide if he's going to lose the semis. That's going to be between Godmad and Reiko mm -hmm. uh, coming back up here in just a moment. Yeah, just, man, the matches have been so insane. And it really goes to show how kind of stacked the competition is. We're seeing yeah. all of these matches, like on loser's side, you're like, who the hell put these people in losers? That could, <sighs> oh, it's insane. It's, it's the new era of uh, DNF Duel, right? Oh, like, yeah. That's all it is, really, and just the additional properties that you gain from these Awakening Cubes, because we've been seeing Hubert on the 50% mm -hmm. Awakening Cube as opposed to the yeah. uh, our original 30%, um, giving different buffs. Uh, you really start to think about the matchup differently, especially with the utilization of Indomitable Spirit, which we saw on display in these last few sets as well. Um, it's It's been really interesting to see the life of the game kind of grow. And of course, the really strong players are still consistently strong. We're still getting a few newer names in the docket as well, and I believe actually DNF Duel is 50% off right now thanks to Tokyo Game Show happening. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So get yourself in at the ground level to get all the previous characters. And then, of course, Season 2 right now is Spectre and Brawler and now Battle Mage coming through. I mean, there's still oh, so much to learn for the game. So a lot of great players <laughs> out here competing at events for this game. Yeah, I'm so excited to see Battle Mage is one of the characters that I thought would be in the original like like launch cast. Okay. Because Battle Mage is literally one of the characters for DFO PvP. Like that that that's literally oh. like like through like the early seasons of DFO, Battle Mage was like the the, the esports character. Like this is the character that you go if you're trying to be competitive and, and play meta. You know, like it, it literally I, I literally remember sitting on YouTube watching Korean DNF uh, yeah. PvP tournaments of just battle mages going back and forth trying yeah. to land their combo like <laughs> it's insane because like it's it, like imagine like the the spacing of a character that has like a lance right but they have kind of like all the backings of like being a mage type character where you have like um, a magic moves where you right. have massive screen controlling abilities like and that was before vanguard came out that that, that was way long yeah, ago yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. like it's just cool seeing them kind of like the, the classes that they've chosen, I really enjoy that they add a nice specific spice to you converting this game to a fighting game. So yeah, I hats mean, off. It, it really makes sense when you look back at the source material because of how flashy the game is alone, mm -hmm. uh, the whole cast of potential characters. Because, yeah, sure, some of these characters spawn from the same archetype, right, as far as, like, starting classes. But there's so much style with these individual classes. Like, like we said, uh, for Brawler, and even for Troubleshooter, if we're talking, yo, Ah, like, man, it, it seems to me like we might not get costumes simply because the potential of, hey, Neo uh, Grappler might just be its own character, right? Like, that's oh, what yeah. it could be. But Reiko on Lost Warrior, God Mad, going back to classic Ghost Blade. Yeah, not going for the Spectre here, but, you know, the tried and true Ghost Blade just to get to go to town here in the corner off the setup and we've seen the damage just from one counter hit from Ghost Blade. And luckily, Lost wow. Warrior doesn't is not able to challenge it that well. Super combo here. Oh nice up gets the fireball. No, but the 5A poke on the other side. And yeah. now gone match. He's able to go right into awakening here and steal out this first round. Four S there. Oh my goodness, it, it, it's real tough. Yeah. Because uh, on top of like having to deal with kind of the mid range that Ghost Blade has in the corner, you can't really poke out either. You have slow buttons. You just have to guess. That's true. Oh no oh, way. Yeah, I wanted to roll through. Unfortunately, uh, Reiko didn't have anything out there until the recovery of the roll. Good grip of damage here on Gone Mad. Up, catching up uh, the air cross up there and catching the roll, the ghost homie covering the other side. Shout out to Ghost. A ghost. That's yeah, literally the name. It's ghost. He's the blade. He's <laughs> the blade. <laughs> oh, good roll there from Gaunt Man. That's very difficult timing. 
Nice right, block, got the conversion, close the gap here. Oh my god. And just like that Don Mad getting the first match here against Reiko, tough stuff. Yeah. Like the ghost setups have been so intricate from Don Mad. Um, Playing the character even before the changes kind of made Ghostblade more of a you know popular character just consistently. Right. Um, showing off just the strength of Ghostblade. Pick up there. Nice helm breaker. Oh my gosh, the five S almost hitting him on the backside there. Nice. A little bit too far for the five A. Ooh. No, that oh. shows you how slow the buttons are. Was already had the button out, and God Mad just poked them from mid screen. Yeah, excellent patience right there. Nice. Draco getting in the clean hit here. Oh, the cross up. That was so tricky. Oh, no big open up to the magic beans. We're stopping that time. Real quick, no. There we go. Good Doesn't God. Need it. Yeah. Back now, letting Godman just go wild here. Oh, nice, great blocks on that jump, and didn't even flinch. Knew that was just gonna go low. No kidding. And what's the show? You know, a lot of these players play with each other every week. You know, so it's so cool to see them competing here on the uh, major stage here at Siotaku. Go. Corner of the situation here, waiting for the man to recover. Got work to do. Yeah, sitting on a perfect here. We'll see if Godmack can keep it up. Go situation. Oh, oh. Gets the grab. So cheap and picks Still up got afterwards. The pick ups. No shot. What an answer back here from Gone Mad. Ghost just picking up the gaps. The calls are insane. The way that Gone Mad layers the pressure in the corner, it's so hard to right. see. It's just a mess of blue, and you're like, I have to block high, low, cross up, or throw? <laughs> I gotta block all this? All right, there you go, Reiko. Again, getting a bit of damage here on the board against Ghostplay. Just going for stagger pressure. Gone Mad holding down back. Oh no, the jump A again! It goes so far! You're literally halfway across the screen, still hitting it. Oh, nice. Gets the stomp, too. Time stop. Top of the screen. We're just, we're still good. We're flying. There we go. Tying it up 1-1. One, one. Wow. stuff for Reiko. Yeah. And right back into it so quick. They're on fire right now. Oh, nice. And the back roll. Cole still catches with the swords. Oh, Jeez. 5A. Yeah. Yeah, I like how Reiko has kind of established the fact that they're going to run up. Uh, Gone Mad just flinching a little bit, getting hit by the 5A. Right. All right, nice throw there, just to hold the corner position. Got it popped up with four beans on the table. Probably won't even need the fifth. Actually, we'll get it anyways. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Spend it out there with the sword. That's a perfect Reiko. Wait a second. Back, answering back with the perfect of their own. Yeah, we're definitely seeing kind of the conditioning here for Reiko. Gone That's Mad huge, huge. is getting red like a book. Everything's working out here for Reiko Lost Warrior going in. Oh, the throw! No! Wow! Stop. You see additional frames to float over that. Able to get the hit and a solid confirm. Time stop. No shot. Don't. That's no it. Way. That's enough. The Asian. No it's, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, it's not enough. It's so close. No. Yo, Reiko being up to one here against God Mad with Lost Warrior. Second game double perfect. Back to the drawing board we go. I wonder if we might see Spectre come out here from God Mad. No uh, way. Definitely doing some soul searching here. I mean, all you got to do is press right once and you're at Spectre. We're doing, we're doing the big thing right now. Oh, oh no, we're sticking with it. <laughs> I respect it, but the thing is, Reiko, unflinchable. The way that they've been playing, so confident, and that takes a lot with a character that, right, you right. know, you have, everything has to be premeditated. 
you can't really do a lot of, of, of reactionary play because of just how slow the character is overall. Exactly. So a lot of it is just raids, conditioning, and we're just showing the fruits of it here, where God Mad feels like they can't do anything. It's really strange because Gone Mad is applying that same principle to other players. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed to do things while Gone Mad is pressuring in this corner with Ghost Blade. Nice conversion, low, confirmed. Got the stagger to get the pickup as well for extra damage. Start here for Gone Mad, but we have seen Ray can get out of this corner. I wonder how they're going to kind of adapt their pressure there. Oh, guard cancel back to mid screen. Again, every time, because look, Rayko's trying to do that orb setup, but Gone Mad goes for roll conversion just to get the punish. Yeah, huge poke out here from Rayko. There we go. Fireball setup. Oh, it's so sick. Nice, the roll through this time did not get hit by it. Wasn't still active, and now back to mid screen. Uh, got a roll from Rayko to get to that position there. Nice side swap, too well. For two way. Good stuff here. No big drop and gets a nice setup. Ooh. Oh, just something crazy there with just the instant jump. All right, and again, every time, every orb setup now has gone mad, warping to you with a roll through conversion. Yeah, that's adaptation here. Not, yeah. not backing off and just like setting up the ghosts this time. I'm going to actively see if you're doing anything. Now God Mat switches to more reactionary play. Being like, your character doesn't have a lot of options, so let me make sure I can react to them. You know? Right, Instead right. of just trying to just run the offense with the ghost, it's like being a lot more patient here and working yes. out. Oh no, big whiff, the 5A. Oh my goodness. Great start here, pushing into the corner, has the setup, doesn't put the fireballs out though. There we go, gone mad. Gets the cross up into the corner, didn't he have the ghost to cover it? Oh! There we go, got the health flare, no escape for jumps. And enough time to build up even more mana. Oh jeez, no. yeah, that's top, top Oki setup right there. Mitch matches 5 8 not looking at the, the ghost out needy. Now one more hit can do it on either side. Oh, the roll through the swords! That was a read. There we go. You can get it right back up. You're tying it up two, two. God, Matt, the adjustments have been made. Yeah. Nothing personnel. <laughs> it felt kind of personal, all things considered. Oh well, yeah. We are in, hell, in Hell's Quarters, mm -hmm. not Loser's Quarters. Yeah, we are definitely in Anime Hell's theme. Quarters. Yeah. We're right back into it. Everyone's favorite song here, too. Is that a fact? That, that, that is a fact. It's everyone's favorite song in DNF Duel. It's not Tabers, but it's something. All right, two beans on the table. Good block on the highs here from Gone Mad. Guard nice! Put you into the That's corner? Okay. That's okay, I'll take that. That's so unfortunate there for Reiko. Oh, here we go. Okay. Able to get the meaty this time, did not get blown up. There you go, conversion to stay safe. Nice. Oh my god, trying to snipe something out. Reiko just waiting so long on the fireball. Thought they were going to teleport. Yeah. All right, potentially final round here. Already picked up with the source as the first beam. That's the thing, God Matt has really leaned on going for that roll to get through the pressure here on Reiko, and he's just right. waiting and calling out the swords immediately. But here we go, big crumple here for God Matt. Here the Alright, nice warp. What a wow. Max range punish there from Gone Mad. But like this corner carry. Yeah, nice block that jump. A unfortunately gets spiked by the ghost. Run up 5A pressure. Great patience here for Gone Mad. You just have to block this out. There isn't a lot of mix of potential here with Lost Warrior. It's just a matter of not getting hit. Woo! Nice. Rolling through the sword works out this time. Now set point on both sides. Yeah, both sides set point here. This is exactly what we would expect from Rayko and Gone Mad. Oh, Ooh. no. That's big. That's big. An interrupt on the dash. That's tough stuff coming out here. The Scoop. throw. Sneaking one in. 
Oh, the trade! Yeah, get off. The conversion low! We're gonna need to make this count. Even though God Mac yeah. is an exhaustion here, won't get too much MP to go for any setups afterwards. It'll pull them back into exhaustion. And they're just going for it. You have to. It's do or die right now. She's the setup here. The awakening. Giving Rick a chance. Believe, didn't believe. We have the conversion. All right, we'll see how this goes. Oh no, the stagger here! And looks like Reiko is going to take it here over God, man. Going to move on. Oh Lost Warrior. Cracking under pressure. And I mean, stagger after stagger from Lost Warrior. And that's all it took to eventually get God Mad to open up because God Mad was so close on the cusp of victory. And you know, you called out, like, why didn't you just awaken there? I don't think that awaken probably would have killed at that point. You, because you, you I, think it was so far extended that even the awaken yeah, would have killed? I just, it, it, it's I, such I, a different world drop? at this point. <laughs> it's such a different world. Like, some of these awakenings are like, no, you're definitely dead. And then other times, just, wait. Oh. Like, it's so different now, especially with the changes on those uh, awakening cubes. So, um, Wow, we, that I mean. brutal, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was do or die. And Reiko consistently just, the, the fruition of the conditioning. I have to keep saying that. Because the fact that Lost Warrior was able to get Ghost Blade to sit there and take run up pressure, that's insane to yeah, me. Yeah, that is insane indeed. Whew. I mean, hey, we made it here. A nice little winner's finals match on the way. Pineapples versus Blue Linkies who is uh, going to be sitting there on the uh, potentially Swift Master. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens because it's supposed to be, again, like I said, if Blue Link is on winner's side still, we get any assortment of characters mm -hmm. until you put Blue Linkies in losers, and it's all Swift. But we saw the early change to Swift Master in the last set that Blue Linkies showed up on. Oh, so yeah. maybe we're in Blue, Blue Linkies Swift Master territory now mm -hmm. is probably what we're at. Oh my goodness. It has been quite a morning of DNF Duel, and we have yes. made it here to the top four. Oh man. So insane. It, is, it has been a joy ride from beginning to end here. Like, ah, oh, dude. DNF's so sick. Yes. It, it, it's still <laughs> such a gorgeous game. So well animated, too, especially with the new characters being introduced. Very curious to see what Battle Mage brings in December. Um. And still so expansive, especially with it. Like, this was the refresh I feel like uh, DNF needed, right? Not that we had completely explored the entirety of the game, but, you know, there were some little touches here and there to the systems of the game that I think will extend the longevity of how these players are going to approach these matchups, uh, how they're going to explore their possibilities, especially on defense. Like, that is so huge how many mm -hmm. defensive options we have now as compared to the launch of the game. Uh, and all for the better, really, so. Hell yeah, so. I'm, I'm telling you, if they keep, you know, getting them characters out, if, if they give me Exorcist, I, I, I'm hanging up my commentary, Mike. I, I, I'm in there. Like, I, I, Bro, you're you're going to stop. I'm just kidding. You're not going to see me in this top eight. But. I'm just saying, <laughs> the slam dunk Exorcist or Witch in October, I knew we weren't kidding once we got Brawler in this, in this month. So that's <laughs> fine. It's fine. But just give me Exo. This, this holiday, we're getting Battle Mage. You're so. getting Battle Mage. <laughs> Honestly, just give me any priest classes and I'll be happy. I, li I, t I literally, I think I have a max character of each priest class. Jeez. <laughs> the, the, the max level. The, well, to be fair, it was during the event where, like, EXP was boosted for, like, a span of time. So I'm like, let me, let me just quickly get a bunch of characters real quick. Because yeah. um, uh, my main's the, the physical exo. And then um, I do have a mon. I have a... Oh, I don't have a crusader. I'm a liar. I don't have a crusader. I don't like playing support characters. I'm sorry. Even though you need them for all the end game content, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, you're I, not a team player. I, what you're I only play DPS. <laughs> you're one of those, dude. You're the reason I why I have be tanks. A buff bot. You're literally the reason why I play tanks and healers. Oh my goodness. Okay, getting right into it. Pineapples versus Blue Link is winners finals here at CEO Taku DNF duel. All right, let's get it. Goldie Inquisitor here for Blue Linkies. Right, good stagger. Place up the confessional boop. Nice roll. Oh. Really good dash block there for pineapples. Tough stuff here. So much damage yeah. off that block DP, and the Twitter doesn't have a lot of health in this game. Alright, walled up. Nice DP. So keep this pressure going here. 
Blue Link is really trying to turn it around. Nice Holy Spear. Yeah, doesn't have to get free health. Can go for a conversion. Going for a lot of IS here. Pineapple just willing to just, you know, maintain that spacing there on the block straight. And Pineapple just getting the first round. On the, for the 4S. I like this like bob and weave gameplay we're seeing here move that a lot of the players kind of employ. Yeah, the caution for Pineapple makes complete sense. You don't want to get caught by that DP. We're utilizing that lightning bolt or the, the ball, right? The fireball to make that safe approach. 50% life lead already here from Pineapple. Stagger two A's. Big poke out here for Blue Link. That could be a lot of damage. The wheel does actually reset. Oh my god, it's actually insane chip because of the IS. Wait a second. You might not want to IS this. What is what? happening? What? Convert put out the Sunday best. I keep dropping the hammer. Oh no, you try to open up at the wrong time and Pineapple takes it. I love how that ended up working out there for Pineapple Olds. I was like, no, you're blocking too much. Look at your gray health. But ended up working out here. Blue Link, he's doing, um, you know, going right back into it. We're not going to oh, swim course. faster. Of course. Didn't believe in the word. I mean, I, I definitely feel like that matchup is a bit rougher in this iteration because Swift Faster has that lowered health, has that lower damage. Uh, maybe it doesn't fight this matchup as well as they used to. Yes. So Inquisitor is the pick here. Let's pop up. Whoa! Okay. Oh, nice. Out of the corner. Oh, wow. Actually getting caught by that carpet. That's all right. Yeah, what's the one to out. Nice stagger. Gonna get caught low. Blue Linky is able to take advantage of this. Despite the Sunday best for pineapples here. We got the loot. Oh, yeah. Look at all this damage ticking up here. Jeez. Nice to pick up afterwards because they did have the incense on. All right, there we go. Guard cancel opportunity, but no shut down. Yeah, definitely a lot better around here. Getting a feel for that. That combo was hot there. Yeah. All right, nice. Able dash in, got our scoop. All right, running up with the orb. He's in conversion to get the pressure on. Throwing into the corner. Nice, again, another DP. Oh, a little bit too far for the guard cancel there, getting Blue a big chance. Get down. Yo, these routes using the Holy Spirit, so oil. Wait a minute. Oh, Yo, you done! Version, you tried to go for IS, but there was a giant gap in there. Yeah, yeah, huge. There we go, Blue Linky's tied it up 1-1, one, one, and that is one of the things about IS, because it's the same input as conversion. Yes. Um, it is kind of risky if people made it out, you just get full conversion and yeah. you can't get punished for it. And that was the thing for guard cancel as well, right? Like both of those two uh, mechanics being tied to that is the mind game that you play and already. Pineapple's in trouble. Yeah, looking very different now, the Quizzer pick. Looking so well in the corner. Guard cancel. Right, nice follow up here. Bring it down. Blue Link is in complete control. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely what Blue Link wants to happen here with the Inquisitors. Going for loops here. Yeah. Making it look real easy. Alright, already got the flame carpet going down here. Although pineapples you gotta get out of the corner, man. Can't let Blue Linkies get you there. Start going for the loops in the corner and just get looped to death. Life tackle's good, but he's a bit of an armor. Jeez, OTG still able to get it. That lingered forever, too. I didn't think he'd be able to pick that up. There's the Sunday best supplied. Dominable Spirit. Oh, yeah. Go get off. He's using all of that armor there. Oh, the low, but no full conversion there. A oh. little bit of a missed input. Pineapple's able to at least get a throw. But Blue Link is still able to keep the aggressive pickup here. Yeah, about to burn him at yeah. the stake. Right into it. Doesn't even need the loops here. Burning the heretic. 
clean stuff. I am loving kind of this huge turn out here. Blue Linkies, the Glinker pick just working out so well. Um, and now I kind of see why. Um, it's kind of a similar play style to Swiftmaster where it is kind of just maneuvering around the screen and just like letting people um, kind of sit there and fully take chip with that right, incense right, right. and stuff. So very similar play style and it does work out. All right, second in the corner with the 50% likely, but still able to convert on this pickup. Blue Linky is gonna go coast to coast carry with this damage over time on this oil curse. Goodness gracious, the damage is piling up. And there you go, still ticking here on fire. There you go, Incense right back on. All right, yeah. we're back on fire again. Yeah, going for IS, be so careful about any gaps here in the pressure. Whoa. No whiff punish either, but hey, you can hold on to this fire. Ooh, nice jab go. out, yeah. What a challenge with 2A. Crossed up, got the better corner position here. Blue Link is in trouble. Yeah, doesn't have Awakening, gonna try for stagger pressure. Guard cancel back into the corner. Check out that 5A. Nice run up 5B, working out here. Oh, all right, there's your 5A interrupt, run up throw. Check. He's already has pineapples in the corner, but no, I love the conversion just to run up, grab the like, no, you're in right, the right, right. And you had the armor to back it up too because that shoulder charge. Heavy use of IS here. All right, walls are up, but even still, Blue Link is able to get a solid conversion off the 2B. Right, here we go, juggling up. What a grip of damage. Oh, One touches all that Blue Linkus needs to advance into this grand finals. All right, there's your guard cancel. Walled up. Massive life lead, oh my but goodness. opened up a little bit too early here. Blue Linkus also in trouble because Awakening will pop, will hit. Bless this attack because Lord have mercy. I need to make sure I get into this winner's finals. I need one more game. Hallelujah, God is good on this one. All right, two, two here. Oh my goodness, from the two pre-space classes, you love yeah. to see it. Yeah, it'll be, uh, I mean, a nail biter for sure at the end because literally no health left on the screen here for uh, Pineapples and was still able to clutch it out. Going for the washing machine there. Catch anything the panel's about to do. No gets hit by the orb. Oh man, we are again. So much damage for our troubles. Alright, another stagger. One more got the wall set up too. We get a little bit of damage, not quite in the corner, but we do get a couple loops here. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Oh, took a little stand up here, but still, Indomitable Spirit. Oh no, picked it up. Yeah, might have got, got hit again just for the gap in the pressure getting conversion. Right. That is so tough. Pineapples does like using the IS a lot in blocks. Right, so right. It, it is tough. We really keep kind of picking up on that, just leaving big gaps in the pressure. All right, Blue Lickies now. On set point, we'll potentially Ooh. moving into grand finals here. Yeah, Spear shut down the the file, the holy water. Nice Bert, keep your turn. Yeah, but the Domino Spear got the space that we were looking for here to charge on in with the Holy Cross. Yeah, I love that using the IS to make yeah. sure you're in that distance to go for attack, but just in case, they kind of just leave up the pressure here. Backing up again. Don't have to work too hard. We would be on about 20%. All right, a lot of work here for Blue Linkies. This awakening is certainly going to help. All right. Stagger pressure again. We're seeing no IS here from Pineapple. It's like, not again. Yeah. Please. There is too much at stake in the tackle into the conversion. Wow. Set point here for both players. Again, another nail biter of a match. Oh my goodness. And it's, it's tough. Both players have been holding in on the other characters' weaknesses so well. Oh, nice. 
Nice. He gets the BP off the conversion, trying to move up after the tackle. There we go. That's the throw. Yeah. is on the offense. Oh. Wonder what we try to convert for there. I'm just seeing their Probably run up into hop. nothing. So scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, wow. The floor. We have the All awakening. Right. Oh, no! Dropped out too early. That's really rough. All right, but the patience here. Look, chipping away at the guard gauge. Blue Linkus is in a load of trouble here. What a DP! Not enough. Nice block on the overhead. Guard cancel too. We have the wall up. Running up the Whoa. low is good, and the Inquisitor should be able to seal it out here. Pending any drops, Blue Link is going to move on 3-2 in the Grand Finals over Pineapples. Zero! What a match! Holy smokes. I mean, down to the wire right at the end, too. I mean, all that possibility there. Like, oh. it was so close to Pineapples getting that guard break, and I think we were really pushing for it. And holy cow, who would have thought that blue Linkies would be able to thread the needle in that way to get the DP out of that corner situation and then steal the turn back. Like that is, I, I almost feel like that was just a send it kind of DP of like, all right, well, there's one gap here mm -hmm. and this is my only shot of escaping this corner. I have to take it. Oh, just such smart play on yeah. both sides. Just it's so, so back and forth. Um, yeah, that DP really changed it. There's, there's no reason, right? That that DP should like, like, Logically, you're like, oh, they're going to play safe, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to play safe, you know. They're not They're not going to gamble. Um, I, well, Even though it was a do or die situation. Yeah. Um, logically, you're like, oh, I can just keep my pressure going. I'm putting my hammer down. I got to just keep my block strings going. But that DP, so smart, what blew right yeah. through. Yeah. Was able to get their own pressure started. Immaculate. Yeah, I mean, it, that's the important thing in that match, right, of just – Sure, like, it was do or die, but also that guard break being so imminent, it, that was the threat that you have to take action. There's no more just blocking. I mean, I guess the, all, the alternative could have been, like, a, a guard break, but that's a big spend on mana. Um, and also the way that uh, uh, Crusader is staggering that hit. Anyways, mm -hmm. the hammer drop, that's not even, like, a guaranteed, like, pushback anyways. Like, you had to make sure that you hit that mark. Uh, but yeah, so it does look like Hubert versus Reiko uh, coming back up here. That should be, um, you know, Lost Warrior up against Berserker again. Oh, man. DNF duel. You love to see it, dude. If you're anyone oh, yeah. just tuning in now, it, it, we are at Hold on, wait a minute. What? Blue Linky's playing with a wireless stick? What? Yeah, that's a wireless stick. What do you mean? What do I mean? He has a dongle plugged into the console. Uh -huh. And then plugged the dongle into the stick. It's wireless. What? I swear to God, that's what I saw. I I don't know, man. I'm pretty confident that's what I saw. I didn't see it, so I refuse to believe it. That's <laughs> Don't gaslight me. That's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but here we go. Hubert versus Reiko. Reiko has been playing out of their mind today, and Hubert, again, against all odds, has been cooking with the Zerker. So yeah. we'll see if Reiko can ride that momentum from that last match where Lost Warrior was able to take down Gone Mad. Um, and we'll see if Hubert will be able to stop the Lost Warrior in the drags. Yes, absolutely. Oh, nice dash interrupt here with the 5A. Yeah, that was something that Reiko was establishing in a lot of the matches we saw earlier today. So the fact that they're getting people to respect all of the pressure here. Nice gets it on the other side with that 5A too. And now Hubert gets so much damage off rip already in this match. Oh, kind of scary here. Oh, what a pickup. Almost got that confirmed. Nice, gets the perfect. Round two. All right, nice. 5A. 
Pick up as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, just swinging on him now. It's like, let me, you know what? I am done respecting Lost Warrior. I'm swinging. Of course. I mean, you are Berserker. That's kind of your right. Nice pick up on the low here as well, of course. Frenzy State applied, so big grip of damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, going to cash it out here. And it's enough good stuff. Firing right back and, you know, being able to... You have long normals that can contest, so you might as well right. throw it out there. You want to give Lost Warrior more respect than you need. Teleport, nice. All right, side swap here. Oh, nice pop up. I mean, excellent lead start here for Reiko. I mean, we did see Reiko get some of these double perfects here with Lost Warrior. I think we're about to see one come up here with the first perfect of the set. What a way to start! 1 0 lead for Reiko. Yeah, there you go, clean and stuff. You love to see it here. The Lost Warrior has just been so strong from Reiko. We'll see if Hubert can adapt here. Nice. Again, huge pickup here, getting so many open ups. Pressure keeping on here. Sure. Jump M plus frames going for the command grab. Oh, Ash and Port, nice. Almost got that guard break too. Yeah, Reiko just cooking right now. Yeah, I mean, what is this level of Lost Warrior that we have not seen in ever on the life of this game? Hold on. Yeah, Reiko has been really, again, I gotta tell you, playing Lost Warrior since the beginning and has been doing insane stuff with the character. Oh no! Trying to go for something there, getting blown up really by Hubert. Big chance yes. here. Extra convert. Bloodsword, go right into the awakening. Yep. Should be able to wrap this up here, right? Yeah, I mean, that's close enough. Oh yeah. Getting a bit of time to you know, take a little think there. You were super clean stuff. The Reiko, it, it is actually insane seeing how much Reiko is able to do with the right. Warrior. Really able to mix up a lot of the pressure options in neutral. The character that people are like, the oh, Oz character is just over. Okay. Reiko showing that this character is insane. Oh, the weight trying to go for the teleport there. Oh no, huge drops. A little scary scramble here. Back to the mid screen. Oh, the roll yeah, through yeah, on yeah, the Yeah, really swords. good roll. Yeah, able to get that challenge too, even. Yeah, that's something that a lot of people are starting to do here against right. Reiko. Reiko will go for the read on the magic sword a little too late. Oh, trying to get the convert. Nice back roll there from Reiko. And whoa, able to challenge, pressing 5 8. Of damage here, one more hit, and we're getting the time stop. So here, be so careful about any hit. Yeah, just want to roll through here, and Reiko just back it up, be like, okay, dude, yeah, yeah. I gotta hit you once, and it's GG's. Nice, opposite side here. Good blocks from Hubert. Excellent patience, honestly. And then the command grab, sneaking it in there. OTG pickup, yeah. huge. Able to get the oh kill no! Here. The, the scaling's too heavy. Oh and no! The command grab and the throw. Reiko up 2 0 oh, on Hubert with Lost Warrior. What is happening, Zero? It, it was just that blunder of the OTG. Like, we needed that extension pickup here. And also, the problem there, we were at four beans. One more hit, and Lost Warrior would have gotten the time stop. Like, it was a stressful situation to be in a big Hubert here. Now, maintaining control of this corner. Big start for Hubert in this game three. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more here from Hubert. We're getting the hit, but Rake just been clutching it out so well. You have to keep the pressure on. Guard cancel out. Back to mid screen. Nice anti air with a 5A. Come on now. All right, keep the stagger pressure going. Whoa, good roll. Nice 2A. You need to kill off of this. You do not want to give Rake another chance in this right, round. Right, right. Oh, the reset, there we go. What a tall character, there's no way. 
The kick was too damn tall. Now Huber in the awakening. <laughs> too gosh darn tall. Yeah, that hurt box is like 90% of the screen. You could just swing anywhere and land right. the hit. Everyone thinks it's so cool to be tall. What about being average height, you know? <laughs> I think that's the perfect height to be. And one of the downsides of being a tall person, you get fuzzy. Yeah, exactly. You get fuzzy, can't fit on an airplane, can't ride all the rides at Universal or Disney. <laughs> but here we go, Reiko again getting a huge combo here right off the bat. It is crazy how a kicker with supposedly no mix. Managing to get through this bracket and yeah. just getting a big open up almost gets the pickup off the low there. Oh, and the perfect, and now Reiko on set point here it's in this Hell's perfect. Semis. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. The sword's nice. Dash up 5A. Got the orb separation here. Big setup opportunity. Gonna try to apply as much slow down time as we can. Oh, Yo, the that was while catches. falling, while falling. This isn't enough. We don't have the MP to support the kill yeah. here, but the mix up in the corner, we have to grab one more touch. All right, nice guard cancel. Had to do it to get out of this corner situation. Nice back dash here from Reiko. Oh, Great Huber. patience. It's all on Yo. him right now. No so shot scary. for conversion out of the corner. Excellent roll from Huber, but one touch is all that Reiko needs. Just needs a single touch. And still Huber rolling through pressure, got the 5A confirmed. All right, we're gonna need two touches here for Huber to stay in the game right now. Rago could literally do anything as long as it hits. All right, wake up. Oh, nice. that's something's in. Oh my God. As long as Huber doesn't drop this, this is it. That does Ooh. it. With no health on the board, Hubert survives. It puts a game on the board. Two to one, though. Reiko on the cusp of victory. Slipping through his clutches. I just saw the deepest sigh of relief there from you. Oh, my Let's goodness, see. of course. You got two more games to yeah. get through here. So I hope that Hubert has enough of the tank. But incredibly well fought here. Nice catch on the other side of the roll. Ashenport leading the corner here. Let the routing, nice. Fake high, went low. A reset situation here. Got it, couple more times. Version two, there we go. This is looking like a Berserker round. Tries to go for something crazy, but forced to get stuffed out. And again, the, Reiko on set point. The audacity of Reiko to 5A right there. The audacity. Reiko is a menace. No counter hit magic sword. Hubert not too happy about that. Hey, but this is exactly how the last game started, right? Before the comeback from Hubert. Not out of the woods yet. Nice sneaking in the grab. Yo, no. the interrupt 5-8 again. All right. We have the beans coming up here. We're gonna get the time stop. Yep, does have it. Take him as much damage as you can. Not quite enough yeah, reset. Needs to reset. Oh, yep. the excellent TP, excellent TP. All right, back dash has to be so careful. Try to force the approach. Wanted to get a whip punish, but a 2A interrupt from Hubert does pay off. Frenzy stayed applied. No, Whoa! the tech up, but still on the opposite side. Hubert gets the hit. All right, one more touch here. Gonna need a hell of a mix up here for Hubert. No, Make the roll, with the roll. Oh, Almost overextended here. We're trying to get out of here. And oh! the sneak in on the throw. You, oh my goodness. Hubert rolling through, Reiko taking that 3-1. Insane stuff here. Lost Warrior gonna be in your top three for DNF Duel at CO Talk. Are you kidding me? This is the new era of DNF Duel. <laughs> oh, that was insane. I mean, an goodness. excellent performance on both sides, really. But Hubert, you know, obviously not happy with the performance there. I mean, a few drops here and there really cost Hubert so much, especially one big one, missing the OTG into Awakening Opportunity. Like, that was huge in game two, I think that was. Uh, I mean, there's just little input execution errors that came up throughout that set and potentially was just simply the stress of the match. Um, just, gosh, like, what a tough matchup between these two. But Reiko working really hard, finding these gaps. These interrupts of 5A alone were absolutely insane. All right, but 
Despite all the excitement, we're going to take a quick break. It's time. It's a glorious time to be back once again to finish out this top eight of DNF Duel. That loses finals match is on the way here. I mean, what a tearjerker of a set in that loser's semis. Oh, man. But, hey, you know what? We got to keep the ball rolling here. That does mean that Reiko is coming back up here on that Lost Warrior. But we have Pineapple to come up and show us a thing or two with this Crusader. A couple more holy matches on the way, potentially, if you could, if you will. Yeah, I'm super pumped. The way that Reiko has been playing this Lost Warrior has been insane. I cannot, like, stop giving them props because yeah. it is this is hard that's hard what they're doing here and they're making it look like or rather making a case yes for lost warrior i best mean character i'm just kidding <laughs> not, not best character, but they're definitely a character that could be in that upper echelon i mean through thick and thin uh reiko has been sticking with lost warrior throughout the entirety of the life of dnf duel uh which is a tall order to ask for because that character so difficult to play with like you said um especially against a cast that is hit with uh, Hitman, you know, Ranger mm -hmm. at the time. And uh, I mean, first off, survived, um, what? Uh, the Fighter and um, Striker, excuse me, Striker, Hitman, Ranger, and uh, not only just Swift Master, but then the reign of Dragonite slowly coming up, even though Lupro probably the strongest Dragonite that we've ever had, right? Mm -hmm. So um, Reiko <laughs> sticking with Lost Warrior this long, it's no surprise to see the intricacies of the character really shine today. Yeah, but here we go. Losers finals for DNF Duel here at CO Talk 2023. Oh, man. I am super excited to see how this is going to turn out. And again, I keep talking about Lost Warrior like every matchup's bad. You know, TV. <laughs> but like, just seeing Reiko command respect is the best way to do it. Or best way to say it, rather. It, it's um, just, right, but it's just like, Every matchup is tough because it's so difficult to navigate the matchup against Lost Warrior here. And this is a huge start for Reiko already. Yeah, half health on a beefy Ooh, character oh, like Crusader. Oh. oh, mixed with a low. We're keeping the damage flowing. And we're getting another B and actually did not actually get it. Nope. This is one more and we'll be able to wrap it up. Good block there. Armor up. Getting a bit of free pressure. Nice stagger with the 2 8 cashing out immediately. Oh, well. Yeah, two-way interrupt should be a good grip here. Not quite going to kill yet. You have that passive of getting more defense here on the Crusader, so he's a bit beefier than other characters. Ooh, Honey. Nice 5M catch there, the wall. Just a hope and a prayer away from victory here. The Ragnarok coming through. With the Dominable Spirit the whole way, Guard Break does get you. Good Ask Lord. and the Lord shall deliver. Hallelujah. In indeed, God's plan there in the corner. That did so much Guard Bar damage. Right, here going Reiko again, yep. landing a hit. Getting a throw in the corner, the high-low throw. Oh, nice. I love the routing here to get as much corner push as possible. All right, got the stagger. Ooh, opened up on the block a little bit early. Bring down the holy hammer. Let this sinner know this false prophet. Man may look like Jesus, but that ain't him. Got a staggered cross up teleport there off the 5A. The lair is going to show again with the awakening. This actually should be the round. Yeah, yeah. Tragedy befallen. Literally on the the precipice of defeat there. Reiko again clutching it out. Ooh, just backing up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey. Just a stare what down. What are you going to do to me? I need this room. You need to come to me. There we go, uh, yeah, the Reiko block. cornered already too. Yep. With the fake corner <laughs> in, in the wall that is Crusader. Oh boy. Yep, good little pickup here with a strong grip of damage. Oh, good throw, good throw. Oh, stuffs out the tackle there. 
Oh, did not fight this time on the stagger off the five. Yep, hey, nice! Erupt here. Yep, pineapples. Coming in with the citrus here. Nice 2A. Just keep it going. Game two to pineapple. I actually love that. That whiff, um, the whiff spear just to gain that distance, get in the corner, yeah, go for the 2A. Yeah. Clean stuff. Nice clean yeah. hit here from Reiko. <laughs> Still going, Jesus. Oh no, oh. not close enough on the throw. Needed one more step to get that. But that gives big opportunity for Pineapple. Blessings in disguise. Ooh, another pick up off the low. Getting so much mileage off of that. Yeah. All right, there's the shoulder charge there. It's gonna actually get a lot of reach for pineapples here, especially with wall setup. Sends the Ragnarok, the apocalypse coming. Yo, car break on the way. Oh, oh my goodness, that's so brutal. The sins are heavy from Lost Warrior. Now I've come to expunge thee of the nine sins. Throw. Oh, this is stagger pressure. Nice. The patience there, just going for the two way. And I love the fact the pineapple isn't even bothering the challenge there. It's like I've been hit too many times, counter hit here. Let me just block it out. Right, I'm fine. Right. Oh, no stagger two way. The re crouch strong. All right, nice pop up. Woo! Too far for the Holy Spear. I mean, I know he's tall, but the Holy Spear is not that. Oh, yeah, huge whiff here. Now, Reiko now has Pineapple in the corner. Nice to roll out. Yeah, very important here for the positioning. All right. Time stop two. All this damage. Got, got the Awaken. That'll be a grip, but you already had the, the time stop damage here, so it's probably going to be mitigated quite a bit. Especially with the Crusader passive, too. Yeah, yeah, it's not enough. What a beefy man. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not just my health you're taking away. It is the Lord's no! health. No! Oh, they tried no. to delay the guard cancel for when it would <laughs> end, but unfortunately it gets interrupted. All right, two, one lead right now for Pineapples. Oh, the jump back spear, nice, finally representing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd seen it a couple times in the corner, just not getting that connect. Uh, you know, honestly, like you said, Lost Warrior, tall person, but uh, not gonna get caught by those at that position. Pineapples oh, wow. finally finding an opportunity. But Reiko, just the same corner swap. Yeah, the Perry actually working out there. No, the five man, they tried to do something. Just timing on that so smart from Reiko. Yeah. Oh no, one hit. We're going time stop. Wow, falling. My God. There we go. Straight to the awakening here. Yeah, yeah. Man. The optimizations on Reiko's side is insane. I feel like every, every touch always goes into like a one more touch situation with the way that they optimize their damage. Right, like right, you're right. Doing, they're somehow doing 50%. On Crusader! That's insane! It's huge. I mean, I really want to double check the notes on uh, on Lost Warrior. Like, did we miss something here? <laughs> no. Like, wait a minute. Reiko's just sick with me. Oh, nice. Almost gets the punish there. Trying to go for the orb. Yeah, using that vertical hitbox on the DP. Definitely a weird place to go for a punish. Has the conversion to off the tackle. Oh, nice catch there, too. But unfortunately, it's not throw back into the corner. No. Oh, jeez. Yeah, again, while falling. A couple overheads for you. Yeah, need one more. We're catching out the time stop, and there we go. It'll be heavily scaled over the yeah. Awakening. Yeah, I don't think we're spending Awakening here. Need a little bit more of a push before no! you kill it up. What the hell was that? 
The magic sword just <laughs> dropped, and then Pineapples landed, tried to go for a DP, was safe, and Rega cleaned it up 2-2 two, two in this loser's finals. All right, who y'all got in the chat, all right? <laughs> do we have the false prophet, or do we have the believer? I mean, hey, wait a minute. In this matchup, if Lost Warrior wins, is Lost Warrior actually just Jesus? Is that it, or just... I, I, I this mean, is the question Crusader might be asking themselves right now. I mean, I mean uh, if I remember from Lost Warrior is just like a shard of one of the gods in, in DNF. Like, so, it, like, it, like, it's not even like the god itself, it's like a shard of it. I, so, Jesus. No, you got, you got me. Yeah, you're right. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> nice pick up here. 5B, 5B. No, the orb drops. That's tough. That is tough because you were no! smack dab in the middle of it the lowest time. All right, that's a round going to Reiko. And there we go. Now Reiko potentially. Oh, big stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it. Getting the kill. Now on Reiko set, knows. point to move on into Grand Finals. Yeah, was already stretched. It's like, I'm good. I don't need to play yes. any of this round. And here we go. Reiko, 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. But this Woo! is going to make it the Grand Finals. But Pineapples keeping it going here. Trying to go for the tackle here. Great blocks. All right, wall set up. Yep, there's our spear, but no, dropped it. That is tragic for Pineapples there. That was supposed to be a big opportunity here to keep furthering the life lead, but instead, Reiko gonna get that opportunity to bring it back. There we go again, the half health here on the yep. corner, gets the grab. Bad times here for Pineapple in the corner. Oh, the charge fireball went on the way down. Oh, gets in, and that is a full confirm here. I don't know if it will be enough, though. The scaling's pretty heavy so yeah, far. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Yeah, there we go. Cash out as much damage as you can during the time stop. Next hit will do it, zero. Yeah, I mean, guarding for your life. Ooh, as nice block to the DP. Yo, the DP, though, from Pineapples. Oh, no! Oh. That's your dude, that's your dude. Just don't drop it. There we go. One all, two, two. Not the last match, last round again here in Hell's Finals. Crusader does not belong in Hell. <laughs> yeah, Crusader's fighting his way out of Hell right now. Trying to get to the Ultima Final. Three grabs. Ooh! Stop! Cease! The 5 M off the other side, bouncing. Capitulate! Here we go. This behavior enough. must capitulate. Woo! And the Lord said, so long as you believe, so long as you follow in the light, you will rise up from the hills below and get the opportunity to challenge those that would say nay to you. Hallelujah. God is good. The Holy Lands, the grand final, shall be yours. So long as you truly believe, and the light that is Crusader. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, some pineapples. Crusader making it out of hell into the grand finals. You, you thought Crusader would remain in hell? The Crusader, the true believer <laughs> of the light that be, taking down the false prophet in this grand finals. But one more shepherd. On the path to victory, <laughs> Blue Linky's out here with the swiftness. But the Lord knows that no, no matter how heavy you blow, the weather, you can storm so long as the Holy Cowl is a part of you. You bring that faith with you into this grand finals and you will see success. However, the task may be heavy. It's the cross that you bear going into this grand finals. <laughs> I was like, how is he going to end this sermon? Where is he going with this? <laughs> All right, y'all. We are in the grand finals here of DNF Duel. Blue Linky's Swiftmaster or Inquisitor versus Reiko the Lost Warrior. Finding their way through the Hell's Bracket here into what we call here at Siotaku, not the Grand Finals, but the 
Ultima Finals. Oh yes, my goodness. Yes. It has been such an amazing morning of matches here. Yeah, it's been an excellent set of matches. A lot of representation across the cast because we did get to see uh, one brawler, the newest character of the game. Mm -hmm. We did get to see a bit of Spectre here. Um, but Blue Linky is committing to Inquisitor, it would seem. It's about to be a holy war. Mm -hmm. For better or worse, unfortunately. Jesus. Oh, man. So we'll see the adaptations as we saw. We saw this match in the winner's finals, and the Inquisitor was just going crazy. Yeah, we have yeah, the loot, yeah. and we were forcing Crusader into the corner, mm -hmm. and then just Pineapple wasn't able to move ever again. Like, like they, they oh, but Swift Master, see? Oh, we're mixing it up. Blue Link, you said enough is enough. Mm -hmm. I got business to do. We're shutting this down. Yeah, because cause I was wondering if, if going for the Inquisitor was like just a better matchup for... I was um, wondering, it seemed that way, right? Yeah, like, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, when, when I saw this matchup first initially, like, fresh off the patch, oh, Swift Master was not so, right, so right, maybe, right. you know, we're going for a bit of a mix-up here. Jeez. Potentially, like, even if this goes, like, 3-2, you know, Pineapple's just fought all the way through losers, and they're going for more of a, like, oh, let's hire this dude out because I still another set. Right. And you didn't have to showcase your sauce, you know? You, mentally, Pineapple might be prepared for the Inquisitor match because, oh, well, I would have spent Slipmaster, but you didn't bring that in, so I guess I'll reserve my thoughts for Inquisitor. But here we are. Back to Swiftmaster, so maybe, you know, a little bit of a mental game here. Nice DP on the approach. Pineapple's already stepping up exhaustion. Nice tackle right through the tornadoes. Woo! Oh, counter hit, jump, B, so much damage. Safe jump, oh, trying roll. to get to 2A to catch the roll. Oh, just the tip of that. Yeah. Yeah, and this is where the you know the the hits of Swiftmaster are kind of rough. We're gonna yeah. get a lot of hits here in the corner, take down the Crusader. Ooh, yeah, nice little overhead wall falling there. Pick up from Blue Linkies in the corner situation again. Oh, oh no whip punish far. though. Yeah, the Swiftmaster orb actually gets stuck him out of that throw range. Right, good blocks. Nice oh, interrupt man. with the five B. Different routing is so interesting to see. Yeah. We've seen the eSports Swiftmaster combo so many times right into Awakening here. Oh, the eSports combo, you say? I've never seen that. Oh, what does that, e that look like? The what one is, where it's like four air busters. No way, never <laughs> seen that. <laughs> no, I don't believe you. That's not a possible uh, combo that you would see in this game. Oh, nice again. Just setting out the orb and just baiting Pineapples to do something and activate it. Throw off the vortex. Ooh. 5P did not get to confirm. And look, Crusader just two alpha for this corner and definitely gonna get picked up by that Raging Storm. Nice. Right, DP out from Blue Linkies. 5P, oh, always, always 5P. It's the shotgun blast. And locked and loaded every single time. Yeah, I mean, Swiftmaster is definitely a dual Zimmerman player for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I love this too. Oh, the armor out. Up on, just pushing towards the corner here. Pineapple's making their own corner, easy. Just going right into Awakening here. They don't even need it, right to tackle. You hear that hammer come down, that base comes through. <laughs> oh, you're, you're dead, <laughs> actually. Also rolls back in front of the space here mm -hmm. against the Swiftmaster. Yeah, this is definitely a, a lot of uh, oh. different matchup than going for Inquisitor here. Just a lot more of a basic heavy battle. Right. Oh, oh good call out on DP. Been hit enough by that one. Sunday best supplied, of course. Oh, but the drop. I got to be careful. Oh! oh, no. The roll through with the Gucci belt on. That's a smart move, actually. Get the roll so you get the invulnerability, so then the moment you recover, no punish opportunity, they have to respect the belt. Yeah, but now, the orb out, has a lot of options on pressure, now she's gonna put the window on top, oh, the guard cancels, nice safe huge jump. punish. Very good safe jump. There we go. Right 
right into the Awakening. Lulu's gonna take this first match here in the Ultima Final. Here for DNF, Lulu clean stuff. The Swiftmaster pick definitely doing some damage here. Yeah. I mean, it might take a while, but the way that Swiftmaster is locking down Crusader and the way that uh, Blue Link is, is navigating a lot of the pressure from Pineapples to get closer, like, that is very telling, like, this is how the pace of the match is going to control things. And the, the thing is, the change up there is so good, too, because, like, on top of doing low damage, it's like a stressful matchup where you have to be very spacing heavy. So, like, you're doing a lot of, you know, you're not doing a lot of damage on the health bar, but you're just sapping their mental away just with right. long engagement. Alright, putting out the hammer too with the lightning. Oh, big tackle conversion. Gonna get a bit of damage here now. Oh, I love that avoidance there on the grab. It gets out of situation oh. there. No, but pick up afterwards. Nice catch on the jump. To wrap up the round here at the very least. Yeah, picking up. Oh my goodness! Yeah, caught mid roll, so actually rolled right past even though the vortex was there. Right. Oh geez, 5B interrupt, of course. Yeah, literally anytime you're in that range, 5B is coming. You know yeah. what's coming. Nice. Yep. Grab. Yep. Oh, again. Another grab again, thanks to the pullback from the Vortex. There's no, there's no way you do it again, right? Oh, the guard cancel, oh, you great might. block. Yeah. Good round there from Blue Linkies. Yeah, I can just feel the winds and Pineapple Sail right now, just starting to lessen a little bit. Getting sucked up by Swiftmaster himself. Oh, nice DP timing there for Blue Linkies. We see Pineapples call out that situation just one time, and I'm curious if we see it again because both time and time again oh, it's happening. Oh, no, the 5 feet again. Blue Linkies can feel the momentum kind of swing in their direction, and they're just like, bet. Let me make some hard reads and make Pineapples second guess their decision. Right. Oh, open the blow, too. Don't have enough just yet, but easy situation here. High low throw. Oh! With the throw bait too, just dashing right down in that blue blinkies. Up 2 0 here in the Ultima Final. A little bit of a water break here. Mm -hmm. Hydrate. Gosh, it, it's so difficult to really say what to do outside of um, time and time again, when you set up that uh, wall from Crusader and you make that approach, Blue Linkies just DPs immediately on that approach. You've only called it out one time. You yeah. have to prove to Blue Linkies that you're willing to call them out on that every single time. Yeah, it's just so tough too, because the neutral in this matchup is so precarious. Yeah. So like on top of like, oh, I'm taking advantage of my plus frames. And then the minute you do that, Blue Linkies like, oh, LOL, DP. Yeah, and, and that's the thing too, right? You don't want to give up. So this wall position here, you're going to dash in, see? And this time, you're, this is the mind game you're going to play because this time, Pineapples did block that, but Blue Linkies did not give it up. Oh my goodness, Blue Linkies. There it is again. There we yep. go, the call. What did I say? There we go, yeah, adapting here. Nice. Oh, I love the side switch too to put them in the corner. Yeah, earned a lot of respect here. The, the DP through the DP, the smart stuff, Zero. The think guns. look, how many times have I been DP'd out of these exact situations? <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna have to start pushing back by blocking or I throw my own DP on top of that. Yeah, but we're in for a tough one here. You know, despite yeah. that, that, that was a hard time getting that round to you and you got potentially six or seven more games to go after this. Ooh! Nice. Yahoo! Oh, and the stagger 2A. Yep, nice! Okay. Same situation, you have a massive life lead. That's a risk that you can take. When you're lower on the life bar, you're probably just gonna go dash up blocks because you don't wanna you know, risk that interaction even trading. Um, or Blue Linky's coming out on top, but Pineapple's making an excellent adjustment here. 
Oh, insane starter too. Love the look. He's finding a clean hit now. Kind of run away with the round, but we'll see here. Yeah. Putting the orb up. Oh, we'll trying to good throw, good throw, good throw, yeah. Great recognition from Blue Linkies. Nice, oh, and again, no. see? You've done it so much that now Pineapple's gonna call it every time. The other scare of this is that you give up that offensive pressure. So if Blue Linkies decides to readjust that decision, then you have to reset the scenario with Pineapples again. Yeah, it's definitely a game of cat and mouse here. Yeah, could yeah. just go for 5A on, on wake up here, but Pineapples, Getting Blue into the corner fairly easy. The wall's up, tries to get through. Nice pickup. She's able to cash this right out off yeah. the tackle. Should be able to kill. No, no drops. Uh -oh. Yo. Still, we're, we're hitting like killers. So it's, we're, we're still have three or four more decisions to make here. Yeah, no health left, so no conversion opportunity. But we got the Vortex up. Good patience from Pineapples. Yeah, All right, no snuck in really another Vortex right there, too. Nice throw. Keep blocking. Oh. Oh. oh! No, that's not what they wanted. No, not at all. Not at all. Big whip punch opportunity, and Blue Leaky is taking advantage of it here. Another orb. Trying to keep up with the mana regeneration as well, too, to keep pressuring. There's a guard cancel. Full screen situation. Belt is up. Nice anti air pickup here. If we get the awakening, it's a wrap, and Blue Leakies will make it back. What a comeback from a perfect to no help. Pineapples just turns around to the crowd and just like, what happened? What do you do? That's not something that you want to see this late in the match. You got to stay in the game, man. Oh, no, yeah. No, the 5B off ramp. This might be the start of Blue Link. He's, you know, just running away with this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, an immaculate return, too. That was absolutely insane. Pineapples again getting hit, stuck in the corner now. Gonna have to try and guess their way out, gets the grab, he just go for two more here. No, the 5A, this might be at zero. One more touch is all that Blue Linkies needs and does succeed a perfect to end it. Three to one in grand finals. Blue Linkies taking CEO Taku seven. Wow. That was absolutely insane. We saw such an amazing show of skill there from Lily, consistently showing us their mastery of both Inquisitor and Swiftmaster. I, I mean, seriously, let's be real. I, who else would not just feel absolutely defeated after you had a perfect and Blue Linky's no health and Blue Linky's suddenly making the comeback with a very cautious approach too. And the one blunder that with from full screen, allowing for Blue Link. He's like, okay, cool, let me get in. Mm -hmm. I got the punish, extra damage. Not only that, but you caught an anti-air with the Gucci belt of yep. wind mm -hmm. from full screen still. The quick movement and quick decision making from Blue Linkies is exactly why time and time again, Blue Linkies has been a DNF champion since the game's release. It's insane. Yeah, it is insane to see players just be so consistent. I still can't believe that DNF Duel's been out for a year already. A year, and you we know, still have new characters on oh the way. Oh my goodness, again. Yeah. The Battle Mace did just get announced yesterday. Yes. And you know, whatever else DLC comes along the line, I'm just saying, if you're gonna put something out there, you could give us a little Exorcist. You want Exorcist? Exorcist okay. You know? Okay. My, my, my main, you know, even though I don't know how they would translate, they'd probably be a stance character because, uh. Uh, the Exorcist has like two modes, like physical or magical. You can choose mm. a spec in for either strength or intelligence and all mm. that. So I, it'd be cool if they did like a stance thing. I feel like that'd be too busted because oh, they'd, they'd, yeah, they'd, yeah. they'd essentially have like two full move lists of different stances. But um, we don't have a stance character, so it'd be interesting if they implemented something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the way that they've been true to the game itself uh, has been absolutely outstanding. Um, yeah, it's a fun time. This game goes on sale regularly as well on mm -hmm. Steam, so definitely pick it up if you want to. Um, it, it's super fun, like especially to just the satisfaction of being able to get these touch of death combos as well, um, and how the game has changed tremendously uh, with the latest patch here with the selection of cubes. We saw like across the board, uh, especially Hubert, right, going for the 50% yeah. awakening as opposed oh, to the 30%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we saw that for Gone Mad as well when they went with uh, Ghost Blade, had the 50% over 30, uh, which give different properties uh, to these characters and different awakenings as well. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, just the overall just volatility of this game is what you could come to expect because it's so much fun and easy to confirm a lot of this stuff. And, you know, it just, it just feels good, looks good, it, which is a great combination when it comes to DNF Duel. Yeah, I'm excited to see if, like, along the line, you know, we already got Indomitable Spirit, and we also did get the, 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 the cube passives. Um, yeah. So I wonder what more additional of the cancel we'll see along the line. Like, uh, since the beginning, uh, I've, I've wanted backstep cancel. I don't know if that'll be a, a good thing to have <laughs> across the characters, but I just love, like, in, uh, in uh, DNF where you're just like, woof, 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 and you just, like, backstep right, cancel right. up. That'd or be interesting, yeah. I want rebound. Um, okay. I, I think I think that'd be a crazy mechanic. So in in the game DNF, for people who haven't played it, is that it's it's like a side scroller. So when you get knocked down, you can still get hit. Um, so when you're in PvP, people can kind of just juggle you, and you want to make sure you don't get hit by a launcher because the launcher will OTG you and right. put you back into a combo. Right. Right. So like to kind of get around that, you have the quick rebound, which is an armored get up move where you're fully invincible and you're allowed to just get up. Yeah. Absolutely. So the meta is kind of around oh. Um, I, I landed this combo, and they landed on the floor. Yeah. Um, how am I going to mind game them so they either quick rebound immediately mm -hmm. or, like, I, I time it so even if they quick rebound, I'm still going to media them after their invincibility. Yeah, you, you know, know, DFO has been really interesting. If you are a fan of beat-em-ups, uh, DFO is just, like, a super stylish beat-em-up. Uh, it's free to play. Check it out. Uh, and even DNF Duel is just that true recreation. You're going to recognize a lot of, like, the awakenings and a l just a lot of the moves in general just translate one-to-one -to, -one to the game, mm -hmm. which is fascinating to see that, like, the online brawler that is uh, DFO get translated so well into a fighting game, um, which is, is different to, uh, you know, other fighting games that have done that, right? Like, uh, Grand Blue is kind of like that similar thing of just, hey, it comes from original thing to this one here. But uh, I do mm -hmm. believe we have our award ceremony set up here and about to go live. So uh, why don't we take it over to the stage here and check it out. I think uh, we got the thumbs up from our production here. Okay. No, they're still working out of here. Just trying to gather some players. It's been an exciting moment here. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, yeah you know, even right across, they're probably doing some karaoke across the way, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for anyone that hasn't been to a uh, seat of talk, you definitely – Try and find some space for it in your schedule next year. It really is kind of a different experience. Like, it's, it's focused on anime games. And we also mm -hmm. do have other games there, too, like Street Fighter 6 or MK1. Um, we had it for this year. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, the vibe is so different. It feels like the anime community coming together and just celebrating yeah. all, all of our different games. Like, I remember uh, Sailor Moon S was, was today. Yeah. Um, and I can't wait to check out the VOD for that. Like Sheesh. We have Arcane of Heart coming up next. Like, there's Toho, Hisotenku. Like, right. there's literally all of the fighting games for anime that you could ever want. And even then, people bring their own setups to host their own. Yeah. Like, outside yeah. of the community stuff. So, like, it is, it is just so cool if you're interested in yeah. anime fighting games. It is definitely the tourney to get to. Yeah, absolutely. So now we are officially ready for our awards ceremony. Let's see what they got over here for this top eight. Thank you so much for tuning in and keep watching for the awards, starting with looks like Argon with seventh. All right, in seventh place, Argon. In fifth place, Lupro. Also in fifth place, Gone Mad. In fourth place, you know him, you love him, Hubert! In third place, Rico777! In second place, Pineapples! And your DNF Duel Champion, Blue Linkies! All right, guys, one more time. Give it up for your DNF Duel Top 8. Absolutely amazing show. And again, everyone that tuned in, thank you so very much. We greatly appreciate it. Like I said, right after this, it's going to be Arcane and Heart Top 4. Still tons of anime action throughout the weekend going on at CEO Taku. Whether you're watching here on this channel, Tampa Never Sleeps, Funky P, Juicy Game Night. And, and that's, that's, that's all of them, actually. That's all of them. That's all the streams. 
Uh, so plenty of action here at CEO you know, Taku 7. Yeishi, it's been a real pleasure hanging oh, out with yeah. you for this top eight. Every and single top time. Top 12, mm -hmm. rather. Uh, stick around. There will be more action, like I said, just after this. Later days, everybody. Peace out, y'all.